Hello. Hoo-ha. Good to see you. Hello. Let me put the music down a bit. There we go. It's time for Doki Doki. Look at it exactly starting at 7. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Discord has finally decided to announce the stream five minutes later. But it's fine. Alright. So let's see. In pictures. We don't need that many. Uh, we don't have that many to go. Finish the poem, give me 20 seconds or less. <laughs> this one. It's like the kawaii during the poem game. So there's three more here. Then there's one, two, three, four, five poems. And five scenes. Three bonus poems. Just one more scene here. One more background. Only a bit more of the other stuff. Oh. Music is a bit loud, surprisingly. There we go. Alright, let's get started. We have done trust, understanding, and respect. So it's time for balance. Let's see what we get. <clears throat> Let me take a sip. <sighs> I don't even remember the voices anymore. Oh dear. Oh. Natsuki. When Natsuki is messing uh, with the orientation of her manga in the closet shells, Sayuri approaches her from behind and pulls her into an embrace. What? Hi. Hi. Literature club has been in full swing since Natsuki joined. Including her, the club is now compromised of four members. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri and Monika. Each club member had received a day in the spotlight to share all their favorite kinds of literature with each other. Natsuki was the first that shared her passion of manga. Then Sayori shared her love for poetry as well as uh, how she goes about writing it herself. Monika, who has multiple literary interests, decided to focus uh, her day on short stories. Yo, Vibia, I finally caught your stream. How are you? Hello, Akito. I'm doing pretty damn good. I made some delicious dinner, so doing fantastic. I mean, yeah, I'm very excited to play this game again. Because I want to know where this is going. <laughs> so, good to have you here. Hope you're nice and comfy. And you have a lovely cup of tea or something. <laughs> uh, and finally, Yuri managed to demonstrate her obsession with fantasy with a little help and encouragement from Sayori. After the week was spent on the presentation, Monica decided to give the club members this week to freely explore each other's literary interests. Oh, let me allow them to uh, uh, What do we have? And, and this game always creeps me out. Uh, I have some jasmine tea. Um, also, this game, this is Doki Doki Plus, so I don't think there's anything scary in the extra stories. So I think we're good. But this is kind of like the backstory of what happened before the original game, so... That's why it's Doki Doki Plus. Because I already played the main game. Uh, Sayori, having spent most of her time in the club so far with Yuri's fantasy books, is rarely is rather excited to begin her journey into Natsuki's manga collection. I run a read, run a read with you today. Let me tell you which one I should pick. Well, that depends on the kind of stuff you like. I mean, there's like romance, drama, comedy, mystery. Uh, I like all of those things. <laughs> uh, okay, sounds good. Ooh, interesting. I didn't know there was a side story. Oh, there's actually seven of them. Uh, I've done the first three so far. And there's four left. Now we're playing Balance, which is the fourth one. And I believe if you play the first six, the seventh one unlocks. And then you can play that one. So, I wonder what that's gonna be, honestly. <laughs> Uh, Siri reaches out and pulls a random book from the shelf and inspects the cover. <laughs> Shouldn't this girl be wearing more clothes? Uh, you wouldn't like that one. <laughs> oh my god. In a panic, Natsuki snatches the book from Sayori's hand and places it on the shelf in a less conspicuous location. Okay, well, if you're 
really have no preference and just let's just start with something that's easy to get into. A lot of these don't start to get really good until like a few volumes in and I wouldn't ask someone to make that kind of commitment unless they're already, uh, already really into manga. I can handle it, I did with Yuri's book at least. Well I'm more considerate than that, although I'm kind of impressed with your attention span if you put that much effort into her books. No, I have the attention span of a donut, but I love my friends and I can do anything if it's for them. Well okay then, let's pick you something that even donuts can read. I didn't say I was a donut, I just had the attention span of one. Ah, uh, were you just trying to call me sweet? You're so cute. N no, how'd you get to that conclusion? And don't call me that. A, a donut? C cute. Ah, uh, how come? I just, I just don't like it. I don't need a reason. Natsuki yanks a book from the shelf and closes the closed doors. If someone asks you to stop, they just need to stop. People need to realize that. I'm, I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to hurt you. Nah. Sorry, it wasn't you. Natsuki shakes her head while pulling a second chair over to it. Is. I was talking about something. I, I was talking about something else. I didn't mean to get angry all of a sudden. Natsuki averts her gaze and mumbles. You're well. You're a nice person. Sorry, I wasn't talking about you. I learned a valuable lesson. Natsuki sp uh, speaks softly as well, feeling shy after receiving that unexpected compliment. Oh, look at these two cuties. Well, anyway, here's the book, so just start it whenever you feel like. What's it about? Well, it's like a comedy, and there's a romance too, obviously. Natsuki looks at the title, it's called Love is another word for luck. It's about a girl who keeps accidentally running into the same guys, then you find out like Oh, well, you should just read it. But you have to tell me what you think. I can already guess uh, who you're gonna ship yourself with. It would be so funny if I'm right. Sh ship? I don't get it. Uh, never mind. Let's let's not worry about that yet. <laughs> ah, she doesn't know. <laughs> Imagine not being a weeb. Uh, just make sure that you tell me what you think. Uh, okay. I'll start then. Hey, maybe tomorrow we can do poetry too. Uh, okay. I guess. But don't you want to finish this first? Yeah, but we could do both. I mean, unless you don't like poetry, then I won't make you or anything. No, it's just... Well, never mind. We can worry about it tomorrow. After the club meeting ends and Natsuki and Yuri leave, Monika st uh, strikes up a conversation with Sayuri. I s uh, what was her voice again? I forgot. I see you got Natsuki to share some of her manga with you. I really want to become better friends with her. She's so enthusiastic and imp expressive. I could just listen to her talk. She's so... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, if she meant I can't say that to her or if I can't say that at all. Say what? N nothing. I'm a woman of respect. But Natsuki is a woman of cute. <laughs> a woman of cute. Yes, I agree. Oh, I said it. Uh -huh. What's so bad about that? I don't know. But, you know, there's one thing I'm kind of worried about. Sometimes I'm afraid that Natsuki actually doesn't like me very much. Oh, that's ridiculous. How come you feel that way? Well, I mean, just some little signs. Like, how she only says hi to me after I say hi to her first. And I feel like she's only excited to talk to me when it's about manga and other stuff she likes. She just seems dismissive a lot. She was like that when I brought up poetry. But yeah, that doesn't mean she doesn't like you. She's, she probably is just shy, you know? Maybe. <laughs> My stupid head is just making me worry for no reason. It likes to do that. It's okay. Try not to worry so much. Everything will be great. But you can help. You can always talk to me about any concerns you have. I'm here to help. You're the best. There he gives Monica a quick hug. Well, I'm gonna keep trying because I love her and I want to get closer to her. <laughs> you got this. How sweet. After the next club meeting starts, Sayori is the last one in, uh, as usual. Trotting into the room, she sees Natsuki sitting alone by the closet, reading what must be manga. Without hesitation, Sayori pulls up a chair and plops herself down right next to Natsuki. Hello there. Hi. What you reading? Can I read with you? Natsuki pulls the book away from Sayori. You can't just start in the middle. There are spoilers. Besides, what about the one I gave you yesterday? Sorry, I was just curious. Well, anyway, I've been waiting forever for this volume to come out, and it just came out yesterday, so... Oh, that's exciting. Well, I'll let you read it then. Mm-hmm. 
Can I sit next to you though? Um, sure. Fairy so plop, plops herself down next to Nexakita and pulls out a blanket sheet of paper. Natsuki reads in silence, save for the periodic flutter of a page being released from beneath her thumb. Uh, from Natsuki's, from Sayori's side, only the light tapping noise of her pen uh, meeting the paper can be heard. Time passes. Sayori's paper is filled with scribbles uh, and the margins are lined with stick figures. Natsuki lets out a deep sigh and closes her book. Did you finish? No, but it's a good stepping point. My heart is swimming, I need a break. Natsuki stretches her arms. Aren't you born? No, I was writing. Oh, I saw the stick figures and I thought you were just born. I... I just draw those when I'm thinking or waiting for inspiration. I made friends with them all. This one is sad because she thinks the night sky is pretty but she can't look up uh, at the stars in public without anyone. But everyone thinking she's a weirdo. Uh, this one has problems with his back but the doctors can't figure out what's wrong with him. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, indeed. Haha, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> You're a weirdo. Uh, wanna read the poem I'm working on? Sure, I guess. So he slides the paper over to Natsuki. Natsuki reaps, uh, reads through the poem, she furrows her eye eyebrows. PBI! Hello, Adam, good to see you. <laughs> there we go. Gotta get that in. How are you doing, Adam? Hmm. She slides the paper back over to Sayori. Don't you ever feel weird just sharing all your thoughts and feelings like that? I mean, your poems are like, really emotional. Is that bad? Well, no, it was just an observation. I think people can uh, get closer to each other if they find ways of expressing their feelings. Well... Natsuki begins to protest, but she can't find a good way of putting her thoughts into words. Doesn't that depend more on the kind of po or friends you have? I don't know. To each their own, but I've never met anyone I'd feel comfortable sharing my poems with. Not not that it's you. It's just how I am, so... You write poems? Mm. You never told me that. I just thought you wrote other stuff. Yeah, that too, but... Yeah, Natsuki actually writes fanfiction. Juicy fanfiction, that is. Maybe she wrote a fanfiction about... VBI chat. Who knows? You should... Uh, I mean, would you ever want to share? Like I said, I don't do that. But, can we talk about something else? I just had fruit punch for breakfast, so uh, I guess I'm pretty good. Ooh, I love fruit punch. That will certainly get you started on your day, honestly. It's a lot of sugar in that. Uh, can we... Oh, I already said that. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, it just makes me uncomfortable. I can't help it. Still, I'm sorry. It's fine. Hmm. Well, let's move on to uh, something that makes us both happy. Hi, VBI. Hello, Feko. Good to see you. How is your day been? I should continue the book you gave me since I didn't get very far yet. Sure. More reading, I see. Yes. More voices. Uh, you know, best to destroy my voice uh, before singing tomorrow in a karaoke stream. Yeah. Could have could have picked better timing, but whatever. I don't care. <laughs> uh, over the next few days, Sayori begins each club meeting by approaching Natsuki with unwavering enthusiasm. Hey, Natsuki! <laughs> Natsuki! <laughs> Out there. Hi, Natsuki! <laughs> At the end of uh, one club meeting, Monica, who's become rather invested in Sayori's friendship mission, starts an innocuous conversation uh, with Natsuki while she packs up. It's cool that you've been finding time to spend with Sayori. She was pretty excited for the chance to read manga with you. Yeah. I'm sure you've been enjoying the chance to share it too, right? Yeah, mostly. Hmm? Natsuki glances over her shoulder, but she doesn't reply further. What's in your mind? Nothing. I, I don't talk about people behind their backs. Oh. Natsuki fell silent, but she just fidgets instead of getting uh, back to what she was doing, as though she wants to say more. It's it's okay to share your feelings, it's different from talking about someone behind their backs. I guess. I just hate when people talk about me behind my back, so I'm better, uh, so I'm better than to do it to others. Monica starts, shares a bright smile. You're really considerate. Hmm. Thanks, I guess, but... It doesn't feel like it. Well, 
You can trust me. I see you stands in silence for a moment, still fidgety. Oh, let's take it. There you go. I just feel smothered sometimes. I'm not used to someone being like all over me after we meet. I mean, it's fun to hang out with her, but I just have no control over the pace. I just, I can't just meet someone and instantly become friends with them and like share everything about myself. That's not how it works. I just want to chill sometimes. Oh, I didn't realize that was happening. It's fine. Why would you have? I, I just feel bad about it. I, I know Sayori. I should have realized. Monica navigates through her tinge of guilt, which has surfaced mainly due to her being the one and previously encouraged Sayori's behavior. Despite not knowing the situation, Monica can help but feel a little responsible. Do you want me to talk to her about it? No, I wouldn't like that. Well, I could, I don't know, I could like divert her into another club activity for you or something. No way, that would be so underhanded and mean. So sorry, I didn't think that one true. Besides, just because I complain about it doesn't mean I'm asking for someone to solve my problems for me. That's true. I'm sorry. I guess I just instinctively want to try solve problems, even if I haven't been invited to. It's fine. I would talk to Sayori about it, but it makes me... It would make things really weird between us. I feel like it would just make her constantly be afraid that she's bothering me. Oh, remember to hi hydrate or else? Oh, thank you, boss. I kind of needed that, yeah. Hmm. Ah, delicious water. I don't know how just how to keep things natural. Well, if you, I think if you do a good job expressing all your feelings, she would totally understand. So she really wants to be the best uh, she can be for other people, but I think she would actually be happy that you want to improve your friendship with her. Maybe. Uh, I just feel so dumb talking to someone about how to friends with her. It's just weird and not cool. Monica shrugs. It's a literature club. Then she mumbles to a stiff line. It's not a cool club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a cool club. The cool club is, is this stream. Hoo ha. <laughs> hey. Uh -huh, sorry, they just tickled me for some reason. Look, I know you're kind of in a tough spot, so it's hard for you to really express yourself. But you've really demonstrated to me that you. Your greatest self-reflection and critical thinking, even if it doesn't feel like it's you. Uh, I think that the most important part of being able to navigate through these things. So I believe that you'll uh, find the right thing to do. Well, Natsuki instinctively starts to reject a compliment, but she can't find any excuse to do so. Thanks. Natsuki gathers her things and she finishes her thought in a mumble. And I, I'm still glad I joined the club, even if it's weird sometimes. Monica smiles, but Natsuki turns her back and walks away before I'm waiting for a reply. It was an unusual way for Natsuki to express her appreciation, but Monica knew what she meant. It made Monica feel like everything was going to be okay. Oh, that is one out of two. You see, like we've done trust, understanding, and respect. This was the one with the piano. Um... Oh yeah, VBI, uh, earlier when you said you love fruit punch, it kind of sounded like a threat because you have big fists. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't say I like to punch fruit. I just like fruit punch. <laughs> <laughs> we always got to make things violent, huh, Adam? Let's do part two. So this is where everyone's in the club and it starts to get like... I don't know what... I don't know where they're going with this now. Like, they could go anywhere. I am not sure. It's lunchtime. Sorry, who usually bars her lunch, is making her way to the cafeteria like any other day. The clamor and bustle of the students is drowned by Sayori's impeccable skill of zoning out. However, her imagination is momentarily interrupted by the glimpse of a familiar pink-haired girl. Hey, that's Natsuki. I never run into the other club members around the school. Natsuki! <laughs> Sayori stands on her tiptoes and waves. Natsuki, who is busy walking and chatting with her friends, doesn't notice Sayori at first. Then she glances over in Sayori's direction. Sayori waves enthusiastically. Eh. Following her friends, Natsuki quickly ducks around the corner. Mm. Excuse me. Oh. Hey! She definitely saw me. Hmm. And I've totally forgotten their voices. Like, <laughs> it's so hard to do voices, honestly. Uh, 
Monica is the first to arrive at the club meeting, then Natsuki. So you, having glanced through the window to see Natsuki already inside, is unable to work the courage to enter. Natsuki has been so distant with me. I was, I was stupid to think she ever wanted to be friends. She only got excited because she got to share a manga. But aside from that, she doesn't even like me. Should just go home today. Sorry, but do you plan on going inside? N no. Why? I'm sulky. Oh. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry for bothering you. Excuse me. No, no, don't leave me. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll stay here then. I don't want to go in. I'm afraid of bothering Natsuki. I saw her at lunch today, so I waved and called out to her, but instead of saying hi, she just ran away from me. <laughs> really? Not bad. Hey! I'm sorry, sorry, that was a joke. I... It just sounded like something stupid that I would do from anxiety. From anxiety? Well, I just don't like attention being drawn to myself. Uh oh. Well, that, that makes sense based on the person you are. But Natsuki isn't shy like that at all. I thought we were friends. But it feels like every day she's just trying to distance herself more instead of getting closer. Also, is the, is the audio good? Audio seems good, right? It makes me feel like she was only spending time with me during the club because I was reading manga, but she doesn't actually want to be friends with me. Um, well, I feel like I'm missing a lot of context here. Was she in the middle of anything when you approached her? No, she was just walking with her friends. With her friends? Here, pause for a moment. How do I put this? So you're very fond of your friends, right? You always want to be spending time with them? Of course, I don't think there's anything more important to me. I mean, the best parts of my day are always with my friends. Besides, I really hate being alone, so... You hate being alone? So you're not. Mm. We're very different people. I cherish my time alone, I wouldn't trade it for anything. So I think... If I was trying to have some alone time, and I was being threatened with an interruption then... And it just... it would not make me very happy. Yeah, but... Does that have to... Doesn't that have to do with Natsuki? She was, already, she was already with her friends, not trying to be alone or anything. No, I think it's similar. It's well, we're all friends in the club, and we have our own lives outside of the club as well. If you think about it, making new friends isn't some casual occurrence that happens on a daily basis. A friendship is an invitation to intertwine your lives together, but the capacity at which be, uh, each person is ready to do that might be different. There are friends we just like to have fun together and others who talk every day and share every detail of their lives with each other. I think when establishing a friendship it's important to consider the comfort level of the other person. I mean, we don't know much about Natsuki's life outside of the club. It could be that she simply needs to make friends at their own pace rather than jump head first into a new commitment. But that means I really was bothering her. I just really wanted to be good friends with her so I treated her like one. Was I actually hurting her? I... I don't know, I'm sorry. My insight was really only based on what I understand about my own needs. And Asuki and I are completely different, so... My, my wish is selfish. Yeah? Even if all is true, and that means I hurt her, I think I messed up. Here with you, I was, I was really careful to understand your needs and when I was becoming friends with you, but I wasn't careful at all with Natsuki because she always seemed really social. Just took control of everything instead of looking for the right balance. Balance? Hey, there it is. Now I heard her and she doesn't want to talk to me. How could I let myself do this? Sayori? I think that. Well, there was one time you told me something about the way I, s I saw things in my head being different from reality. It's easy to automatically jump to the worst case scenario, but I think it's more likely that Natsuki doesn't harbor any ill feelings towards you. So, if we were to realistically consider the situation and how it would cause someone to feel, uh, I'm bad at this, sorry. You're a lot better uh, than me at things like comforting and reassuring people. Certainly, Siri gives Yuri a gentle hug. Ooh, I'd love to give to give Yuri a hug, you know. First of all, she's best girl, and second of all, she has great personality. Two of them actually. I mean, oh, what? I I'm not waiting on that. All right. <laughs> um, you're the best, Yuri. I'm sorry for burdening you with this. You're trying so hard for me. You're such a sweetheart. I I just. It's not a burden. I enjoy listening to others. My friends deserve happiness. So you already beams. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna give Natsuki some space. She should do what she wants. If she doesn't, she still wants to be friends, then I'll uh, learn her needs and I'll match her boundaries. 
Yeah, I'm sure that's what's best. I wish I didn't feel so awful and guilty. It makes me feel desperate, like I need to make up, uh, make it up by her by trying to make her happy. But that's not what she needs, I just have to tell her myself that. Uh, it hurts, but I guess it. I still need to grow. I really want to grow as a person. If it's better, uh, if it's to be better for my friends, I want that. That's very mature of you, Sayori. <laughs> I'm mature! Sayori hops up and down on her toes. So, that means you'll be going home after all? Sayori shakes her head. I need to be here to show that I respect your space. I'll just spend time uh, on the club by myself today. You're not an understanding. You can go in first. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're blocking the door. <laughs> Translation. Can you get the fuck out of the way? Like, your 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 voluscious voluscious body is uh, blocking the entire entrance for some reason. Oh, there you steps aside. By the way, for Yuri enters the club room, so Yuri interjects. You said that you and Natsuki are completely different, but I don't think, I don't really think that's true. I think you're actually really similar in a lot of ways. Yuri smiles and shakes her head. So Yuri, that's absurd. You're very silly sometimes. Yuri turns and enters the club room. After a moment, so Yuri follows. Ah, the good old coming out of the bathroom uh, five minutes later, you know, that you always see in the in the airplanes and stuff. I got it, I get you, I get you. <sighs> the club room is quiet. When Natsuri wo uh, Sayori walks in, Natsuri glances in her direction. Siri smiles and gives Natsuki a quick wave before sitting down across the room. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Siri decides it's best to continue the manga she was reading, so she pulled it out. However, it looked like it looks like Natsuki isn't reading today. There's a sheet of paper in front of her and is tapping her pen against her desk, staring at it. Oh? Uh, oh? Are we writing uh, Are we writing today? Monica speaks in a quiet voice and willing to disturb the peace of the club room. She kneels down at Natsuki's desk. Hey! Natsuki pulls her sheet closer to her and covers it with her arm. Sorry, I didn't mean to peek. Whatever. I just want to show you how- I just want to see how everything was going. It's fine. Natsuki replies dismissively. She glances over to Sayori, who is focused on her manga. Monica follows Natsuki's gaze. I I think she's mad at me. How oh, come? I I'm busy right now. Ask me later. Monica falls silent. Natsuki looks down back down at her paper. She inches her hand away from the top margin, allowing Monica to see. It says to Sayori. Aww. You see how considerate this cutie is. Isn't it cute? And if she doesn't want to be cute, well, she can hear me anyway, so it doesn't matter. Understanding Monica smiles, she plays a hand on Suzuki's shoulder, uh, Natsuki's shoulder, and whispers softly. I can't read today, what the fuck is going on? I didn't sleep bad or anything. Hmm, I don't know. I'm proud of you. Hmm. Natsuki looks away, but makes no motion to remove Monica's hand. Monica gives Natsuki's shoulder a quick squeeze before standing back up and pulling away. Squeeze. Squeeze the lolly. <laughs> Uh, the end of the club meeting passes. Yuki, uh, you fucking hell, I can't read. Yuri has already departed. So after Monica, after checking on Sayori and Suki to ensure they wouldn't stay too late, Sayori was determined to finish her manga volume before heading out since the end was approaching. However, with Natsuki also staying late for another reason, a silent tension hangs in the air. Squeeze, yes. I mean, like, there isn't, there isn't a lot to squeeze about Natsuki, but, you know, a shoulder will do. <laughs> After finishing the volume, Sayori brings it to the closet to put it away. She slides it back uh, onto the shelf when Natsuki watches. Then Natsuki gets up and pulls it back out in order to return it to its proper location. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know where it's supposed to go. It's fine. The two fall silent again, avoiding eye contact. They both look like they're about to say something, but neither can break the silence. A moment passes. Well, I'll be on my way. See you tomorrow. Hmm. So he turns away to hide her pained expression, then walks away from her closet. If there was any proof Natsuki no longer wanted to be friends, this was it. Defeated, Sayori carries herself out of the club room. No. Once in the hallway, Sayori takes a deep breath and hits her palm against her cheek to clear her head a little. Um. S suddenly, Natsuki's stammer stammering voice calls from behind. Natsuki? Startled, Sayori turns around to face Natsuki. 
Oh. Natsuki fidgets and anxiously continues with a shaking voice. I, I have a lot of things to say. Me too. But, but you go first. Natsuki bites her lip but can't stay still. Well, first of all... Oh, this is cute. She cuts herself short, struggling to continue. Trying to force the words out, she stampers her foot and hops up and down a little. I'm sorry for the things I did at lunch. I'm very sorry. I'm I'm sorry for just being kind of mean lately. It's it's really hard for me to like. I mean, I'm not good with things that make me uncomfortable, especially when it comes to like like feelings and stuff. So, face burning, Natsuki climbs up again. Instead of continuing, she simply holds up a sheet of paper for Sierra to take. <gasps> Oh, the best place in the world. I love my bedroom. It's full of bright colors and soft things. The sunlight, the sunlight shines in and makes everything sparkle. It's the best place in the world. It has all my treasures, all my books, my collections, my memories. All of my dreams are born in this room. It's the best place in the world. It has all my secrets, all my fails, my fears, my feelings. Sometimes it feels so fragile that the door will break at the slightest touch. But it's still the best place in the world. But when someone knocks, I get scared. I brace my arms against the loose hinges. Please don't break. Don't come in. I'm not ready. It's my best place in the world. The knocking won't stop. I block the door with furniture. An eye peeks through the keyhole and I panic. I'm trapped in the best place in the world. Ribbon, I'm getting hungry now, of course. I'm not ready to share my favorite place. I need to clean my secrets and make my bed to hide my nightmares. I need to touch them. Uh, to put them away. I need to see them again. I have so much to do and I'm scared. I'm not ready. But it's still my favorite place. I still want to share it. However long it takes. If you wait patiently. I'll eventually open the door. And I'll show you the best place in the world. Oh, That's very cute. This is like. For someone who used to be like very introverted. This is actually quite accurate. Yeah. It's It's a poem. But I thought, well, I sticked it up so that I could work things out with you. So just, just be happy about it. Please. Siri so smiles deeply from the bottom of her heart. I'm, I'm happier than I could express. I feel so awful, but I'm happy that you would do this for me. I actually realized before the club meeting today that I made a mistake. I got so caught up in the chance to get closer to you that I forgot to think about what you wanted. And we probably, uh... We probably have different ways uh, we like to make friends. Mm, about like the friendship stuff. I mean, it's okay. I understand you don't have to force yourself to talk about it. Your poem did a great job, so don't force yourself if you're not ready yet, okay? That's okay, nods. You don't have to feel like you did anything wrong. It was my fault and I'm sorry. I wasn't mad at you today or anything. I just actually felt really guilty and wanted to give you some space. I was thinking it's silly that I just approach you all the time, so that I just should I should just let you approach me when you really want to. Just whatever makes you comfortable, I respect that from now on. Friendship should always start with those things. With the right balance. That's sticky notes again. One one thing about that, hmm? Well, I don't I don't want to have to approach you all the time either. I just want it to be balanced, like you said. So you're not. I I understand. Well, we'll make sure uh, of that together then. Aww. Well, anyway. Now that the two of them have found common ground, Natsuki finds it easier to speak more freely again. I'm not gonna be like sharing my poems all the time now or anything like that, but... Hmm. I get someone and her to do once in a while, only the best ones. So, you better like them, because otherwise I might change my mind. I like anything you do, Natsuki. Uh, <laughs> I was just saying, more importantly, uh, I have to tell you about my new boyfriend. Huh? Oh, from the manga. <laughs> I like how she instantly realized, like, there's no way you have a boyfriend. Uh, wait, I need to guess who it is. You definitely won't be able to guess. The two walk down the hallway together. Oh my god, we have so much to talk about. Damn, I should have told you, uh... To save the last two chapters so I could see your reaction to the big reveal. Oh, you wanted to enjoy it with me. That's so cute. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> How nice. Oh, got another email. Issues caused by unprotected memory. 
has anyone evaluated the side effects that might be caused by sharing a memory pool between multiple VMs, which is virtual mem memories, rather than allocating them separately? I'm looking at some of the files VM1 is generating, and I'm finding some information that definitely shouldn't be there. I haven't seen any evidence that this is actually affecting the inside of the VM itself, so I don't think this is priority, but it's definitely worth noting. My best guess is that memory uh, being freed from VM2 isn't getting zeroed out, which means technically gives VM1 access to it. All uh, the info I have will go into the issue tracker, but I want to check if anyone else has noticed something along these lines. So I've actually seen MadPad's theory on this game, and it's it's really cool. You should really check it out if you want to know the lore. Let's see. Oh, we have two more. Look at them. Yay. Here is the, the cutie. All right. There's only one more. What? There's so many more stories. There's two poems. There is four more of these, though. Okay. Let's continue with the next one. We have a new song. Hmm. I'm not seeing a new song. Okay, side stories. Let's go to reflection. Yes. <clears throat> Let me take a sip of tea. <clears throat> this is a very direct start. Am I bothering you? Um, no. Okay, just checking. It's hard to tell uh, since you always look so into it when you're reading. Makes me scared to interrupt. Well, it's within my expectations to be interrupted when I read here. It's mainly when I'm by myself that I don't like it. Oh, that makes sense. I guess you're in here in the first place and you're more ready to socialize, even if it takes a bit of prodding. It's, it's not so bad to be social if I let others do the work. So, it can be healthy to put myself in a social environment every now and then. It's mostly difficult because I don't know uh, anyone, or there are uh, too many people, or everyone's being too silly for me to keep up with. <laughs> Yuri glanced across the room at Suyuri and Natsuki. Suyuri has her head cocked back uh, and her mouth open, trying to catch pieces of a cookie that Natsuki is lobbing into the air, but the pieces keep bouncing off her face and hitting the floor. Maybe, maybe I should say something. No need. They just ran out of cookie. What a waste. They. They've really become good friends, haven't they? I'm happy. See, Suri seems particularly good at making it happen, but the two of them are both on the energetic side, so I suppose it would work out well. Uh, yeah, come to think of it, uh, you and I haven't had many chances to talk one-on-one, -on -one, have we? Uh, though that may be particularly my fault, since I'm supposed to be the one engaging club members. Not at all. I've just formed the habit of throwing minimal attention to myself. The responsibility is equally on me. At least to display some openness to engage. Well, what about what about during times at lunch? Do you do you meet up with friends? I I just read. Oh, but I like that way. It feels nice to be carried off again uh, after morning classes. Hmm. Do you, do you always read fantasy? No, not always. I suppose it's all I've ever read recently, but only because I'm in the middle of this series. There's Still two more books after this one. I guess I guess those long books suit you well, since you, since you spend so much time reading. Well, fantasy may be my favorite, but after that I'm more or less indiscriminate to genres. I'll read anything with depth and maturity. Oh yeah? Like even like romance? Well there there are a lot of books that have elements of romance in them. Oh come on, Yuri, you know what I mean. Monica lowers her voice. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. Though I won't tell anyone if you do. Mm -hmm. Maybe more when I was in middle school. I mean, I was really lonely and people were mean to me a lot. I just kind of felt like, mm -hmm. please don't make me think about the past. Hey, sorry, I just got super curious. You know, we should totally pick out a romance novel to read. That would be so much fun. Absolutely not. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like, so, so direct. Like, no, absolutely not. Oh, really? Even if it's just between us? Try, try asking someone who has no shame, like Natsuki. Ouch. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean it like that. Well, I guess it was my fault for pressuring you. I'm like, 
them for things in my past too, you know, things I feel embarrassed to re-experience. There's nothing wrong with growing out of things, it happens to everyone. For instance, Natsuki's interest in Magma uh, re reminds me quite a bit of how intense I used to be about my own interests. It makes me think that she will uh, likely grow out of it too. Well, you know, I got into anime like, uh, like, what was it, eight years ago? Well, you know, I haven't really grown out of it yet. Well, okay, well, whatever. Hey, were you talking about me? Um, no, we were just... Oh, we were talking about how our interests have changed over the years. Well, when did you get into manga, Natsuki? Mm, a couple of years ago, I guess. I was already sort of into it before that, but it wasn't really going hard until then. Well, do you have a favorite anime, VBI? Yes, um, Clanad After Story is my favorite anime. Because it's like, I don't really, I don't really watch a lot of drama, but that one is just, uh, the characters are so good. The music is like, the music is some of my favorite music ever made. The, um, the story is just good. It's like, it's like perfect. Perfect anime. Clanet After Story. If you haven't seen it, just watch the Clanet series. But get get your tissues ready. <laughs> After that, um, I do like, you know, it's people people often judge this anime, but I do like High School DxD. Even though it's very edgy, I do love the anime for its humor and the characters. Um, what else do I like? I like a lot of stuff. Uh, Nichi Jo is one of my favorites, which is just like really weird Japanese humor, but I, I, I love that. So yeah, those are three of my favorites. There you go. Um, uh, oh yeah, what was it that inspired you to get more into it? I don't know. Let me, I guess, let me think. It was after I discovered a series that I really liked. Yeah, it was just like really fed up with a lot of things and I got super into that one series that I really like uh, related to. I guess I had an edgy phase where I hated everything or everyone around me. I wanted to be by myself. <laughs> uh, okay, solid pigs. Yes, Nichijo. <laughs> yes. I love Nichijo. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. I like Pop Team Epic 2, which is like even weirder, but uh, a lot of people didn't like that one, but I, I do like it. I don't know why I like it, but yeah, great. Uh, I do I do love myself some overpowered main characters too, like Overlord is also one of my favorites. Uh, yes, let me... Hey, kind of like Yuri. M Monica. Uh, sorry, that's, that's completely wrong, so... It's still cool that you both really found your thing. Almost like the opposites, but it sounds like they've helped you through a lot of hard times. You know it. Mm -hmm. Well, what the heck? Is that book even bigger than the last one you were reading? Um, technically, slightly longer, but not by very much. Uh, how high do you think it would go if you stacked up the whole series? Natsuki estimates by holding her hands above her head, sizing up an imaginary stack. I should, I should get one of those mangas that's like 50 volumes long so I can say that I've read more than you, haha. <laughs> Not that I have the money for that. Please. That would hardly count when your books only have a few words per page. Oof. Oof. Well, it's true, but... I know, I was just joking. I could never actually read books like yours, it's too boring for me. You're a shuk at that suki. It's not boring. Chill, if I said for me, not for you. I can have my own opinion. But I just think it's too convoluted. Mm. So you are those, uh, are those from the floor? Hmm. Aha, gross. Also, wash your hands before touching any of my books. But my hands are dirty. Just do it. The oils aren't there if you can see them. Fine. Siri trots out the door. And Natsuki follows. Mm. Yuri, you look a little upset. What kind of nerve does she have to call my hobby boring? Well, she did correct herself. Hardly. That was she was so condescending. I don't mind if she thinks it's not for her, but I already understand that it's not for everyone. But she knows how uh well how much these mean to me. So how about just leaving me alone instead of needlessly telling me uh the things you hate about it? I'm I'm sorry, Yuri. You may be right. This this won't be the last time people have strong feelings about what they like and don't like. 
especially in the literature club, so I should figure out how to meditate discussions to keep them positive and constructive. For the record, I've already been impressed by the level of creativity in your books, and also your ability to get uh, through them so quickly. Thank you. Okay, well, this is something that I'll have to think about and revisit. I'm sure I can help find Natsuki some common ground with you. Common ground isn't necessary. I just wish to be respected. Uh, that then. Anyway, I'll do my best. I'm skeptical when it comes to Natsuki. I trust you, Monica, but I'm skeptical. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's more. Okay, everyone. We have a special club meeting today. As you know, the Literature Club is a place where we get to share things that we're really passionate about. But it also means we should be mindful of how we respond to each other's feelings. I think we have a chance to turn our differences into positive energies for each other. Aren't you being a little dramatic about this? This is important to me. Well, sorry, I just feel like I'm being accused of something. No, I'm not accusing you, uh, any, anyone or anything. I'm sorry it came off that way, but our... Uh, conversation yesterday made me reflect on the power of language, and I thought it would be a good topic for the Liberty Club, don't you think? I'm sure we're going to have... Uh, let me turn on the music a little bit. There we go. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, I'm sure we're going to have difference in opinions a lot, so I need to make sure we're prepared to keep a positive atmosphere in the club. If you say so. Sure. Uh, the cool thing about language is that it gives us a lot of different ways to express the same idea or emotion. We have a lot of control of how we want other people to feel when receiving our thought. This goes for poetry, uh, narratives, casual conversation, basically anything. For example, Sorry, what's your favorite food? Um, I have them organized by category. Should, should I start with snacks or do you mean full meals? Should I include breakfast? <laughs> oh my god. Oh jeez. Okay, how about your favorite food? That's easy. Cherries. Oh, I like cherries too. <laughs> okay, never mind. Really? I I always thought cherries tasted nasty. What? Cherries are delicious. Wow, that's a pretty strong reaction. Wow, I just don't understand how someone could think cherries are nasty. I don't either. I love cherries. Like, really love them. How does it make you feel? I, I don't know, sad? Defensive, maybe? I, yeah, I get defensive. See? The reason it ch you had such a strong reaction was because I don't like cherries. It's because you felt your opinion was under attack. But that's weird, right? Something like taste is completely subjective. But when I say something like, I, li I think cherries are nasty, I'm using objective language. I'm challenging Sayur's reality that cherries are delicious of my own, which is that cherries are nasty. Wait, hold on. How's it ob objective when you just said it was only your own opinion? It has to do with the way you, our brains interpret our words. You're talking about the reality of the cherries, not the f your feelings about them. Like, Sayori. Let's rewind for a second. I pretend I didn't tell you that I think cherries are nasty. Good. <laughs> what if instead I said, I've tried cherries and they're not for me. It's not the kind of flavor I enjoy. Well, that's fine. As long as you don't call them nasty. Nasty is a nasty word. <laughs> nasty is a nasty word indeed, yes. The, it's a very nasty word. Did you know that angry is a very angry word? Yeah, and did you know people die when they are killed? My gosh. <laughs> okay, so cherries was a kind of weird example, but I think I got the point across. This time around, instead of talking about the cherries, I just talked about my feelings and Sayuri didn't get defensive. So instead of clashing with each other, it's like we received an invitation to talk about our indifferences. <laughs> I like how Oh, so you're always like an, an experimental bunny in this, like every time. Uh, Yuri, you don't need to take uh, notes. I'm not gonna quiz you or something. I, I know that. I was just, mm. so I didn't mean to call you out. You can do whatever you like. But does anyone have any thoughts so far? Yeah, I just feel like I shouldn't have to put all my language through a filter just to protect someone's feelings. Well, you don't have to. The choice is yours on how you want to come across to other people. Exactly. Like, sometimes I'm too blunt to people too, and I regret it afterwards, but, you know, it's part of who I am, so, yeah. Uh, I'm only suggesting that it's a tool to help turn your differences into positive experiences than, rather than an argument. Right, Sayori? Ma whatever you say, cherry hater. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sorry, I actually like cherries, I was just saying to help demonstrate. What the heck? I've been duped! <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry, Sayori, I'll make it up to you later. 
Uh, how about a cherry sundae? Here. <laughs> you are welcome to, to dupe me anytime, my beloved president. I just had to go with that voice. <laughs> Buying the people's lordship. How deplorable. <laughs> like you would turn down a free sundae, Yuri. You were certainly a fan of those cupcakes I brought in the other week. That was, I mean, I was reading and not keeping track of them. Okay, that's enough. We're getting off topic. So now we have the gist of it. How about we try it with something more relevant to the club? Uh, like manga, right? Let's have to try a productive session about our difference, uh, differences in opinion. Yuri, did you want to start? Um, well, I'd rather not know. Oh, how come? Well, because... I don't see how anything productive can come from that. Hey, it's just going to start a fight. No, no, but it'll be fine. That's why I'm here to moderate. Let's just have a calm and rational discussion. Yeah, give me a little more credit. <laughs> Gosh, I'm not a child. You don't have to coddle my feelings. I always think it's more respectable to just speak your mind. R respectable? Yuri's expression changes that that word. As one recalls, being respectable is the crux of the matter for Yuri. Well, the point of the exercise isn't exactly like, it's fine. I have nothing against uh, anyone personally. You're entitled to enjoy whatever it is you like. I just prefer more depth and nuance in my reading material. I look for stories that are imaginative and sophisticated beyond the surface of level. Oh man, it's, it's just a minute understanding then. I, I thought you were going to say that manga is for children or something like I don't hear enough of that, but there's plenty of deep manga. I, I'm not clueless about manga. I've read my own fair share when I was younger. Wait, are you serious? How come you never told me? Because I'm past that point in my life, and I really prefer to not revisit it. I prefer more mature things now. Excuse me? Hold on, can I jump in here? That's where it keeps things <laughs> subjective. Because if you reply that, that manga is immature, then aren't you implying that someone is immature for, be for being into it? I. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> well, maybe it's immature to judge people for having different tastes than yours. Asuki. Well, nobody's immature. I've read Asuki's manga and yours fantasy. I love them both in their own way. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Good that you like it, but I still, I still find it boring. Boring isn't subjective. Okay, it bores me. That's subjective. But, I mean, the thing about this is ridiculous. Do you see why I didn't want to participate in this? Just knew it was gonna make people upset. I'm not upset. Like I said, I don't care what other people think. But I always get good to the impression that you secretly look down upon me. So I'm glad my suspicions were confirmed. That's not true at all. You're making assumptions. You can't blame me for getting defensive when nobody has ever had the least bit of interest uh, or a bit of respect for the things that I'm into. The only thing I look down upon is when people make fun of me for just being myself and trying to mind my own business. What? Have you looked in the mirror? Tell me again about respect after calling all of my interests immature. You can't. Please stop. Please. You don't mean the things you're saying right now. Let's just be friends. Hmm. Mm. I didn't. I didn't mean for this to happen. Well, I did. Well, I did. So please, don't invite yourself to try and solve other people's problems again next time, okay? Hmm. Your piercing words send the club room into a choked silence as she gathers her things. She leaves. Oh dear. Holy crap. I never heard her sound like that before. She must be so pissed. Well, you weren't very nice either, so... I'm just saying. How did this happen? It's my fault. Yuri wasn't wrong. I shouldn't have tried to moderate a conflict when I know how bad I am dealing with conflicts. It was really stupid for me to do. It's nobody's fault, and it wasn't stupid. Everyone in the club is a nice person. Nobody would have expected this. But I guess we were sensitive about the things we really love. Honestly, she kind of brought it up upon herself. Like I said, I don't care if you're not into manga, but if you actually look down on other people for it. This, this is kind of the point I was trying to make in the first place. It's not about sugarcoating things. It's about just recognizing and understanding our differences. Okay, but there's, okay, but there's the thing about that. You actually looks down on... Uh, on me. It has nothing to do with her word choice or anything like that. See, if you if you see what you were trying to do, uh, but I I think really the problem here is, is her, not just the way we talk about each other, right? I mean, you isn't like that. She's a lot sweeter than you're giving her credit for. I'm, sh I'm sure she'll be reflecting on this 
I actually think everyone should. It'll be fine. I'll figure something out. While I'm just like saying things instinctively. I'm just setting myself up to cause more problems. This wasn't your fault, Monica. You didn't beat your you don't beat have to beat yourself up over it. If you ask me, it's good that the truth has finally come out. Because I can just move on now. But hmm. It's fine, I promise. Let's just get this off our mind, okay? In fact, I think it's a good opportunity to read some manga without having to worry about feeding Yuri's superiority, superior, superiority complex. Don't be mean. I'll talk or read manga or whatever you want, but don't be mean to my friends, okay? Sorry. I'm just bitter. Everything will be okay. I mean, none of the answers, but at least I know that we're all good people and I don't, don't want to hurt each other. This will be a learning experience. Monica says that, but her uneasiness is given away by how much she has to force the reassuring tone in her voice. Now, this is bound to happen eventually. Natsuki and Yuri have always engaged with each other uh, the least out of anyone, so this is the reason. As Sayori and Natsuki proceed to distract themselves with manga, Monica sighs to herself, unable to shake her worried thoughts. Um, will the club have to come, uh, just have to come to terms with the fact that some members will be incom incompatible with each other? Monica desperately doesn't want to admit that, as she knows Sayori doesn't either. But for once, the solution doesn't seem to be in sight. Oh. Ooh. That's, uh... That's no good. <laughs> that's a very, uh... That's a very bad one. Okay. Reflection 2. Let me take a sippy. Ah. <sighs> Gotta, gotta stay hydrated if I want to sing tomorrow. By the way, karaoke stream tomorrow. Um, 8 p.m. CET. Just wanted to mention it once. A new day arrives. So you arrive at the club room easy, uh, earlier than usual. That is not late. As she enters, it appears to be empty still. So she sits down at her desk and pulls out a sheet of paper, primed to jot down her thoughts. Siri so made a habit of scribbling down her thoughts and feelings onto paper when possible, as it tends to serve as her best inspiration for poetry. Hmm. My heart feels vacant because a ship sailed away. Yo! Ah! Natsuki! Natsuki pokes her head out from behind the closet door. Aha. Uh -huh. So wait, did mean to scare you. It would just would have been a lot more awkward if you didn't say anything. Uh, I know you want me to listen in on your poetry thing. Uh, yeah. Thanks for realizing that. I should I should I let you finish it up then? Oh no, I it wasn't. I oh, mean, I just do whatever is convenient. You're not interrupting. Where's Monica, by the way? Oh, she she's out in the hallway. Hmm. Why? Well, just in case she runs into Yuri. Sometimes Yuri's too nervous to come into the club room by herself. So, ah. Oh. Jeez, it surely really let the things bother her for that long. She can't control her feelings. For some reason, it's really hard to cope when you get a bad uh, thought in your head. Maybe you distract yourself for a while, but as soon as it's just you and your thoughts again, it comes back. Mm. Hmm? I just want to have a normal club meeting. It's a lot easier to pretend like it never happened if we all just ignore and move on. I don't want to be bothered by this. It's just so stupid. Her opinion of me doesn't matter anyway. Besides, it makes me feel really guilty and I hate that too. It's okay to have feelings. It doesn't make you weak. Hmm. Let's figure this out together. Fine. Only because you're good at this stuff. Let's try to come up with a happy scene. Maybe that will help us understand where your bad feelings are coming from. Well, I was happy the way things were before we had that conversation yesterday. What part of the conversation made you upset? Was it during being mean about the manga? Hmm, maybe. I doubt it though. Because my friends and other people make fun of manga all the time, but I just brush it off and ignore them. But something about it really got to me this time, and I hate that I'm letting that happen. Is it because I came from Yuri? Hmm, no, why would that matter? I mean, well... Well, maybe. I just hate that she thinks she's so much better than me just because she likes to pretend to be all sophisticated. Yeah, that's what it is. At least other people decide that they don't like me, or manga, or whatever. But Yuri acts like she's too good to even give it a chance. I'm sorry. Everyone deserves a chance. 
Yeah, exactly. Why, why would, you, would you give Yuri's book a chance? Ha, after this? Absolutely not. What about before this? Well, well I went until I got bored, which wouldn't take very long. But if you actually keep an open mind, then it's not hard to realize that the story can be deep and meaningful without being needlessly complicated. I see. But you know, I like Yuri's books. Yeah, but you like manga more, right? Yuri shakes her head. Or, so Yuri shakes her head. I like them both. I like them both in different ways, but I like them both. I mean, the manga, it's honestly... Uh, it's really honest and fun and easy to just let go with. And a fantasy is a lot uh, to be interpreted and in comfort, but it's really rewarding to have some good quiet time sometimes with it. But the most important thing is uh, that both of well, the both of the manga and the fantasy are really true to themselves. So I love them both, and I think there's room for both of them to be in the same club together. And I just feel like maybe, maybe they have more in common than you would think. Hmm. Oh. How do you get along with everyone so well? I always get into fights with people. Like, first, of, um, first it was with Monica when I was new to the club. And then it was with you, and now it's Yuri. I'm always like, oh, that person is being such a jerk. And they say, realize that, then we could at least get along. But nobody else has this problem. I just keep running away from the reality that everyone's just a jerk to me because nobody likes me. And I don't know why, but I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I hate it. Natsuki. So you puts a comforting hand on Natsuki's shoulder. You're a wonderful person, and you, you deserve to be loved as much as anyone else. Everyone has different ways to like to communicate, you know? And sometimes it makes it harder for us to understand each other. I think that sometimes, sometimes we, we get lucky and we make friends who are really good at the same kinds of communication, and it feels like you magically connect with them. But other times, even if, uh, even if both people are really nice, it's easy for them to misunderstand each other or to get communication wrong. It's something that Jerry struggles a lot with too. And it can be really hard. It takes a lot of like reflection and self-awareness and vulnerability. I'm I'm bad at that one. Vulnerability. I always have to be the strongest. What do you mean? Tell me about that part of you. Well, it sounds stupid, but I'm really used to people being mean to me. Like my friends. And I guess my dad. Like, when I don't get good grades or even uh, stupid things like if my room isn't clean. Ooh. Finally, some deep stuff here. Hmm. Ah. Okay. One second. There we go. So, what am I gonna do? Cry about it? If I let myself get upset, then it's just letting them win. I'm better than that. I'm better than all of them. So, things always have to be everyone else's fault. It feels like if something goes wrong, then. There's even a tiny hint that it might be my fault then. I just get really angry that I find ways to blame everyone else instead. Do, do you see yourself as a better than Yuri? Mm. If I said it, I would just sound like really full of myself. No. Our thoughts and our feelings have two different things. Even if we don't like our feelings, we have to understand them and uh, we want to learn about them. Or more about ourselves. That's a part of vulnerability, you know, accepting that we have feelings that we don't like. I... I hate that. My feelings make me a bad person. Because my feelings just want to tell me that I'm so much better than her. That she's a just mental know-it-all who's stuck in her edgy face and I'm just way above all that garbage. But I'm terrible for feeling that way. You're not terrible. You're not... You're not your feelings. But... You're not your feelings. Say that to yourself out loud. Hmm. Fine. I'm not my feelings. The way I like to picture it is that those feelings are like your roommate. You live in the same house and you gotta see each other every day. Even if you can ignore each other most of the time, you're gonna run into each other every now and then. And it's gonna make you feel like poop. Like shite. So the other uh, opinion is to get in, uh, the option is to get uh, to know each other. You can communicate and learn from each other and maybe even help each other reach uh, change for a better... Does that help you understand? Hmm. How do you know so, so much about this stuff? Hmm. I I just have a roommate that can be really hard to get along with. Called depression. Depression? But you're like the happiest person I know. I'm I'm not my feelings. 
Mm. Ooh, this is uh, this is really deep. I want to be a good person like you. Oh, you little sweetheart. We're all good people. You, and Yuri, and Monica. I think Yuri will eventually learn out about you. Natsuki remained silent, feeling a little overwhelmed. Despite Yuri's kind reassurance, a complicated mixture of pain and sadness seems to fill her, as though flowing from a wound inside her. Was it a result of her vulnerability? No. It, was, it wasn't as though she inflicted a wound after becoming vulnerable. It was as though she began to rediscover an old wound, one that cannot be simply be banished and left alone any longer. Okay. Where's the story gonna end? Oh, is this a new one? Uh, Yuri, what, what are you doing all the way here? I was looking for you. I... Please don't yell at me. Oh, I'm not going to yell at you. I just want to say that I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. It wasn't fair for me to put everyone on the spot like that. Oh, I don't like this face. Very creepy. Next time I won't try to jump in and solve everyone's problems. I guess it's a bad habit of mine. You're... You're not mad at me? I, I thought you were the one mad at me. I was so awful yesterday. He recalls up, recalling the details of the argument. I can't even have a normal conversation without saying something wrong and making everyone upset. Hold on, that's not what happened at all. Let's talk about this, okay? Mm. Yuri pauses for a second and manages a nod. Monica takes a seat next to her uh, on the staircase. I'm, I'm having a lot of negative thought patterns and I can't, I can't get away from them. What kind of negative thought patterns? Like, everyone hates me. Especially Natsuki. Oh, that's terrible. I don't think Natsuki hates you. Oh, huh? how do you know? Well, because... Monica thinks back to the time that she herself found uh, herself in an uh, altercation with Natsuki. Uh, and how to display uh, how a display of maturity from Monica was enough for Natsuki to reevaluate her own feelings as well. I think I think Natsuki is just naturally defensive. I think she acts mean when she feels the need to protect herself. But you know, she's she's not a bad person. In fact, I think she can be really thoughtful and considerate. She just, well, I guess the way it works is that she wants to receive some degree of kindness first before she feels comfortable returning it. Oh, but that means the burden is on me. And I don't know how to say things to make people like me. Every time I open my mouth, I just... There is six, her head at herself and tucks her hair. It's okay, Yuri. You don't... Oh, fuck. You don't need to beat yourself up. I think anyone would like you if they had a chance to get to know you. Well, the opposite. Uh, unfortunately, the opposite is true. That's why I'm not talkative anymore in the first place. Because everyone used to think I was weird and talk about me behind my back. That's just what happens when I draw attention to myself. Natsuki even said that she found it more respectable when people speak their minds. Oh, stretch boss. Ah, oh, very good. Yes, thank you. Ooh, that actually can crack my back. That's a good way, by the way. Oh. Thank you for the stretch. I really need those when playing this game, honestly. Just like uh, hydration checks. Um, so I did, and then she hated me anyway. That was enough to confirm my fears. But, so Yuri and I like you, and we've got to know you a, a lot by now, right? Mm. Yuri doesn't seem to have a response. Hey, what do you think of Natsuki? I, I don't think about her. That's not what I meant, really. I, I just, hmm. Just wondering if you have an opinion on her. Oof, don't want to kill ya. No, no. Like, cracking your bag is actually really good. Like, um... I'm in a physiotherapist right now that, like, is dealing with my shoulders, my neck, my back. Uh, and my jaw. So, like, cracking is actually a good sign that it's becoming looser. So, yes. Stretches are good. Stretches are really good. Mm, I, I do. What, what is it? I seem to see Natsuki... Seems to bring the worst out of me, and I feel really ashamed of it. I like to think of myself as a fairly sophisticated person, so for someone to just treat me like I'm inferior despite my tastes, that's just the worst kind of insult coming from someone like her. And it makes me think bad uh, things about her. But everyone else seems to like her, so the only explanation is that it's me who's doing something wrong again. 
jaw what yeah so um so like your shoulders your neck and your back are actually all connected to your jaw and like um i had like itchy and pain painful and itchy feelings behind my ear because that's where the jaw uh muscle ends so like i'm in a physiotherapist to get like to get better at that so i have exercises every day but yeah it's it's getting better so don't worry about it but like i uh i was like a danger of getting a locked jaw which is when your jaws or your mouth can't open anymore so yeah but it's it's getting a lot better now so don't worry about it uh, and my feelings are about her wrong and I'm wrong to get upset over something so childish and inconsequent. No, Yuri. Uh, that I did not know. The body is weird. Yeah, the body is really weird. Like, uh, I thought I had an ear infection. But then someone told me, like, uh, like a... Uh, uh, what's it called? Like, just a doctor told me, like, Oh, do you have, like, how far can you open your mouth? And I couldn't open it at all, really. So I was like, oh... Yeah, that's your jaw. It's like, what the fuck? How's my jaw behind my ear? It's like, well... And then she showed me, like, uh, how the muscles run, right? And the muscles from the jaw actually run, like, way behind the ear. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I did not notice. But yeah. <laughs> no, Yuri. Feelings are never wrong. Well, they're not right. That's the thing. Feelings are never right nor wrong, you know? They're just... Just their state of being that we don't always have the control over. But that doesn't mean that they have to control us. I feel like that's something I learned around when I first started the club. Uh, we can hate ourselves for feeling a certain way about things. Or we can, you know, just acknowledge that they exist and try to understand them better. I could never be mad at you for just feeling a certain way. It's just about how you handle them. And I think working through feelings is a great opportunity for teamwork. Hmm. Your work is a dejected expression. You make it sound so easy. You're so mature. And so good with people. I feel like such a child in comparison. Oh Yuri, I'm far from perfect. But these are learned skills, they didn't come naturally to me either. It's really hard to like reflect on yourself and separate your feelings from your thoughts. Mm. I just want to be a good person. Brings a whole new meaning to lend me your ears. Well, I guess. <laughs> uh, like if you ever like... Uh, if you ever clean your ears, you know, or get your ears cleaned, and you have, like, ridiculously bad itches afterwards, then go to, like, your, go to your doctor and, uh, and get your jaw checked. Because that's what I had. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, your jaw, it's like, there's many problems with it. <laughs> anyway. Well, I think that it takes a good person to get this far. Uh, that's not good enough. I want to be able to communicate it to her. Communicate what? How I feel. It, how it makes me feel frustrated and upset when she gets so negative and dismissive of the things that mean so much to me. And how it... How it reminds me of me. Because I know what it's like to feel misunderstood and angry at everyone. I know that telling yourself you're better than everyone else is just a defensive mechanism. We're just people. We're fragile and unstable. But I'm just tired of that getting in the way. Poor Yuri, she just needs a giant bear hug from PBI. she would probably die with a chat PBI. No! I can be soft. She can hug me instead. You know. <laughs> I'm actually... I, I really love hugs. Hugs are, like, lovely. Hugs are a sign of trust, you know. Yeah, I, uh, you can't focus on your reading when the piece is disturbed, right? Because I... Because... The literature club should be happy for everyone. Hmm. Monica looks at Yuri in ador adoration. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like Siori must be rubbing off on me because I really want to hug you right now. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. No, no, I mean... Well, if you wanted to, then I wouldn't really mind, so... Monica pulls Yuri into a short embrace. Daw! Sly dog, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> like, if you would have arms so, so strong that you would crush someone, then... Just let them hug you. Like... <laughs> right? It seems seems only logical to me. I don't want to kill anyone. Uh, you're so gentle. And I love that you communicate your feelings. I feel lucky uh, to just get that see that side of you. 
And I'm sure Natsuki will too. <laughs> I'm going to write her a letter. Oh, a letter? What a great idea! It's because I'm not good at talking, especially under pressure. I always let my feelings get the best of me, and I forget to say all the important things, and I say that things I don't mean. Well, I think a letter would be wonderful. Such a nice way of communicating. Yuri's face hardens with determination. People don't naturally gravitate towards me like they do for you and Sayori. My personality it just isn't suited for that, and I wouldn't want it to be. But sometimes, uh, something I've learned is that friendship doesn't always just magically appear out of thin air. For instance, I would never have seen myself making friends with someone like Sayori. We're opposite in a lot of ways, but I'm friends with her because she puts so much effort into understanding me so that we can get along. I think that it's the same with you, you both give me a lot of time and patience. And I wonder if, if she feels the same way. Natsuki? Yuri nods. I always thought that if I wanted to make more friends, I had to be someone that I'm not. That there's a type of person or magical form formula I have to follow in order to make someone like me. And that's just like me to think that. Always so occupied with myself that I fail to understand other people. Yuri shakes her head. Friendship happens when you think about the other person. And you offer time and effort to understand them and respect them and trust that that they also want to be a good person. That's what I learned through my observation in the literature club. Observations? Monica's caught by surprise. Yuri's always kept to herself so much that it's unusual to hear her suddenly talk about the club like this. But Yuri gently smiles to herself. You always let me listen to your thoughts about people. So Yuri too. Makes me happy because I learned a lot of things. That's... That's so sweet, I had no idea that it meant so much to you. Monica never thought much about it, but in the past week Yuri always seemed to be especially attentive when it came to the problems and concerns of others. Always wanting to listen uh, and learn more about her friends in the club. It's true, so Yuri and Monica oh, uh, are more naturally comfortable with people and can more easily work through situations of conflict. That doesn't make them better people. Everyone has strengths and weaknesses, and a capacity to improve. The first step towards improving oneself is reflection and self-awareness. It's something that Yuri can never, uh, never gave herself enough credit for, but Monica can recognize as an incredible trait. And with that, her confidence in a club is restored. Oh. A very shy girl with long pretty hair is wandering the bustling uh, lunchtime hallways, her fist pressed into her collarbone. When she finds the literature uh, club's president's room, she stands at the door, glancing all around her before peering inside. Monica is sitting and chatting with a group of unknown friends. Yeah, as expected, this was a bad idea after all. Suddenly Monica glances towards the door, making the girl panic and duck out of sight. Huh? Before she can regain composure and decide for sure to leave, the classroom door gently opens. Oh, it is Yuri. Okay, I was like, who is this then? <laughs> uh, Yuri, what a surprise to see you during lunch. Yuri uh, squeaks a response. P please help me. What? Is everything okay? Yuri shakes her head. I... I don't know how to write letters. <laughs> uh-huh. Thank goodness. I thought it was some kind of emergency. Uh, Monica briefly glances over her shoulder at her other friends. Do you... Did you want some help? We can find an empty classroom or something. Is is that okay? I feel bad taking away uh, taking you away from your friends. It's totally fine. I promise. We weren't doing anything. One sec. When I get trots back into her classroom, says something like, "I gotta go to her friends." And grabs a pen off her desk and returns to Yuri. Okay, let's uh, find somewhere quiet. Yuri nods and follows Monica. As the two of them set off. Ah, uh, how are you today? Hmm? Me? Oh uh, yes. Oh gosh, sorry, I was just caught off guard. Well, I'm doing well today, just tired. I never seem to get enough sleep during the week. How come? I, I don't know, I just, I'm easily distracted. So I get really sucked into things that I start neglecting the time. Me too, I do that too. <laughs> hey, this classroom is empty, let's go in here. The peering inside, Monica opens the classroom door and the two of them enter. Yuri's moments of relaxation ends. She watches as Monica pulls two chairs up to the same desk, uh, and then obeys as Monica beckons uh, her to take a seat. She stares down at the empty desk. You nervous? I, I don't, I don't want to do this. Oh, why are you crying? Huh? Why are you crying? 
we we don't we don't have to. Uh, we we can come up with something else. Your shakes your head. It's my chance to do something good. I need to take initiative. Gosh, you must be really determined. I know how hard it is to step uh, to step out of your comfort zone. I'll be sure to encourage you. Your pushes her anxiety and grabs a handful of lined paper from her notebook. Then she picks up her pen. Oh, look at them. Oh. Hey, you're left-handed. That's neat. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at the, look at the booba. Very nice booba. <laughs> She's so uncomfortable. This music totally fits his mood. <laughs> I know, right? Um, now, now I don't have to worry. Have to worry about bumping your arm. Monica playfully rubs her shoulder against yours. Hmm? Sorry, I'm just being silly, I guess. Anyway, how about we start uh, by listing the different things you want to say to her? Hmm, your things. I feel embarrassed all of a sudden. Uh, it's okay. How about something, uh, some of the things you said to me yesterday? But, never mind. I guess I'll try. Your things for a moment longer. Her attention e uh, evident. Uh, hey, the sprite. <laughs> then she writes the word reflection. This, this is about my reflection on our behavior. The key question is why we act like this towards each other, but have been able to separately be friends with Sayuri and Monica. That's me! <laughs> yes it is. So, Yuri thinks, I've been able to befriend the two of you because you've taken the time to understand my needs and respect my interests. Mm-hmm. Same goes for Natsuki, the same goes for Natsuki too. We started off as pretty hostile to each other, because I was so worried about getting what I wanted, but she just wanted to be respected more than anything else. Once I stopped making it all about me, she was able to do the same. I want to do that too. So, what kind of things do you want uh, to do for her? I want, I want to do the same thing for her that I like to receive. I like it when people respond positively to the things I talk about and not just brush me off. I like it when my feelings are taken seriously. And I like it when you and Sayori trust that I want to be a good person even when I'm not doing a good job at it. Let's, let's write those things down. Okay. Yuri writes some uh, some things down. Man, Yuri's voice is so easy to do for me. It's just like, uh, I can I can talk in my lower voice, and it doesn't take any effort. <laughs> I think the most important uh, thing to remember here is that Natsuki uh, is feeling vulnerable, so we should make sure that the letter puts her first. Alright, it's all about the respect. Yeah. <laughs> God, that's an old meme. Uh... It's hard when you're feeling hurt, but it uh, it never helps to just tell someone else all the things that they're doing wrong. I think first you have to make sure that they know you're ready to respect them and listen to them, and admit the things that you feel could be better. And then finally, when you, you ask what you would like in return. How does it sound for the structure? It could be three paragraphs, one for each of those points. I like that. My thoughts were so disorganized, so I had no idea how to come up with any kind of structure. You're so amazing at these things. Oh, stop. You've done so much more than I have, you know? You spend so much time reflecting and being open-minded that that's the hardest thing for anyone to do. All I'm doing is helping you out, uh, put it on a piece of paper. So I think you're the amazing one. Hmm. Monica gives Yuri a, Yuri's hand a quick squeeze. But as she lets go, she caught by surprise when Yuri curls her fingers to hook Monica's hand in place. For a while, they sit uh, like that in silence, safe. Uh, save for the occasional scratching of Yuri's pen against the paper. Yesterday you told me something that I'm thinking about a lot. What was that? The thing about how feelings aren't right or wrong, that they're just a state of being we need to come to terms with. It made me think about how a person's behavior isn't always just how they decide to be. It's also made up of their past experience and insecurities. I think that helps me see people as actual people rather than uh, insignificant side characters who are out to get me somehow. Is that how you feel about Natsuki? You are not. But in reality, everything is always, everyone's always trying their best and everyone wants to be happy. Monica appears over Yuri's paper, but to her surprise, Yuri pulls it in closer, partially covering it with her arm. Uh, I have to be able to read it to help you, you know. It's okay. My thoughts are. Oh. My thoughts are more organized now after being able to talk to you about it. Now, 
While I'm actually putting it on paper, I, I realize I prefer others not to read it. Yuri laughs to herself, a rare expression. Aww. I'm, and I'm kind of glad to hear that, actually. Somehow keep finding ways to butt into this whole thing and I've done enough damage. <laughs> but also, I've been... I've been... It's also been so wonderful talking about this. I mean, I always thought you were really smart, so... Mm -hmm. I, I will always be terrible at these things. People are just so incomprehensible to me. I'll never get the hang of being one. Uh -huh. But listening, listening to you so much has really helped me make sense of some things. So just don't call it damage, please. Marika gives Yuri a gentle smile. Daw. Um, one second, I need to... Where is it? Here it is. Uh, I can't believe I came to this club looking for fantasy geeks and all I all I got was friends who value me. Daw. Isn't that cute? Is, is that a joke? Of course it is. <laughs> Funny joke. Well, I put it the wrong way. Uh... Uh, never get the hang of being a person, but you are one, lol. Well, actually, she's a, she's a computer program, so you know. <laughs> don't, don't question it, okay? We're in the deep story here. Uh -huh. I still can't tell with you. So, sorry. There we go. Uh, no, I love it. Please never change. As you wish. <laughs> Let me take another sippy. <sighs> Your glances at the clock. We're almost out of time. Will you be able to finish? Before the end of the day, probably. But I don't want to come to the club at the same time that Natsuki is reading. <laughs> I'm, I'm too shy. I can give it to her instead if you like. Yuri nods. As long as you promise not to read it. Of course I promise. Thank you. Yuri exhales and the two stand up. I'll message you when it's ready. Monica nods. Good luck. I'm here if you need me. Monica uh, returns to nod and the two depart. Ooh. Oh, it just ends here? Really? Okay, I guess I guess this is yeah, this is the confrontation then because these two are on the on the cover. So are there some doubles in here? There has to be some doubles, right? Actually with four people, how many combinations can you make? Only Hmm. Bruh. What do you mean bruh? What are you brawing for, hmm? Self love. Oh, <sighs> it's only been one day since Yuri's letter was delivered to Natsuki. Would nothing has help? Oh, it was already delivered. I wish I could have read it, but because Masuka, uh, because Yuri chose not to attend the club meeting that day, she and Natsuki haven't faced each other since. Although it's only lunchtime, Yuri finds herself anxious, uh, counting the hours until she will need to face the outcome of her efforts, whenever it's good or bad. And because the passing of the we have the students was made occur, the banning was abrupt a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's they're, they're splitting it up into sections, right? It's all one big story, but that was about self-reflection. So now, what was it? Self-love? Yeah, self-love is this part. Which is the last one. Um, although I believe there is another one that unlocks after you've completed this one, so... And because uh, the passing by of students was making her even, even more anxious, Yuri picked out the most secluded spot she could find uh, to spend her lunch. Um, because the staircase is under maintenance, uh, that's what the sign is for. No student would have any reason for coming here. It's such a relaxing feeling to have a moment of solitude in the middle of a frantic school day. Oh. Ooh, -hoo. abrupt you say. Well, 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 look what we have here. We have found ourselves at Sundari. <sighs> when suddenly <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> nah. eh. what, what, what are you doing here? Um, I just Your grips her book with enough force to wrinkle the pages beneath the pressure of her thumb well, What are you doing here? Mm. 
I just came to get a drink from the vending machine. The other one is out of the drink I like. You and Natsuki uh, fidgeting, fidgeting with a few coins between her fingers. She nods some funny eye contact. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Natsuki, also looking away, shovels over to the vending machine. It's so quiet that everyone, uh, every one of her movements seems to reverberate to the entire stairwell. Uh, after far too long, she finally receives her beverage, which she then fidgets with in place of the coins. Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's some kind of iced tea, but instead of leaving right away, Natsuki stands in place. She glances all around her. It's like way too quiet here. It's creepy. I mean, that's what I mean, really. I mean, it's just it's totally cool that it's your thing or whatever. Like, I can see how it suits you. So, but because I think you're creepy or something, I didn't mean that either. You know. I'm just gonna stop talking. That seems like a good idea. It's okay. Everything is okay. Your friends are attempt herself attempting some words of comfort after hearing Natsuki stammer herself into dejection. Seemingly in response, Natsuki approaches the base of the staircase and hesitantly sits down on herself next to Yuri. Um, well, I can leave if you want. Yuri shakes her head. Natsuki twists the cap of her drink and sips, takes a sip. Despite receiving Yuri's general permission, Natsuki doesn't say anything more. Yuri continues to read, or at least pretends to. Okay. And the two just sit there for a long time. The tension seems to fade a little as time passes by. Even without any words, it, seem, it seems to mean at least something, though I'm, it's not clear what it might be. Lunch ends more quickly than expected. Natsuki is the first to stand up with her empty bottle drink. Are you, are you coming today? To the club? Yuri nods. I'm, I'm sorry for being so awkward. I'm really bad at talking about this stuff. I just I just can't for some reason. I don't know why. But I want to, eventually. There's no rush. I promise. Thanks. Interesting, interesting. Oh, we're at the stairs. It's, it's the next day, okay. Nasuki appears from around the corner to step up to the vending machine, glancing at Yuri as she does so. Today she seems to be holding some kind of book as well. Oh, you're here again. Well, oh. Cheerful music all of a sudden. Well, I just came here to read this because there aren't any people around here. Oh, I thought you didn't like how quiet it was. Well, I don't. Uh, well, I don't, but there's no people here. I, I see. Masuki sits down. What well, feels much different today than it did yesterday. After yesterday's lunch, and. Oh, this is getting more ominous and also, but also saucy. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, the meeting that followed Natsuki and Yuri are beginning to feel more relaxed around each other again. Uh, although Yuri's letter is still lingering in the back of Natsuki's mind, she continues to detour around it. Then, it's okay that I'm here? Yeah, I don't care. Just, I mostly don't feel like dealing with the crap I get from my friends about it. Especially since, like, they all assume I stopped reading manga after I joined the literature club. And I'm trying to hide it from them exactly. But I just don't want it to come out Again, now, after I've waited for uh, this long time volume to come out, literally months at this point. Finally, a music change, yes. You don't have you don't have other friends who are into manga? Not unless all my friends, Cal. And Sayori, but that's different, because she's not exactly into it. She just likes it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Honestly, you're lucky that the books you're into uh, at least uh, just look like books, so you don't have to feel like everyone's... It's constantly judging you by what you're reading. That would be so awful. Especially since I really hate attention so much. Well, it's a good thing I have thick skin, I guess. By the way, I would totally recommend finding some friends online if you haven't already. If you're like me and have no one to share your hobbies with. I I have online friends. Since middle school, actually. I was especially desperate back then. It's somewhat embarrassing to reminisce about those days. Sometimes I feel like... The me from a few years ago would have benefited from a good smack across the face. And whatever, we were just stupid kids back then. Some of the fanfics I wrote, thank god I used a uh, pseudonym. But I like it I like it at the time. I got a full, uh, a lot of fulfillment out of it. And plus, I can look back and say with confidence that I've become a better person since then. And I don't think it would change anything. I wonder if a few years from now we'll think the same thing about our current selves. Uh -huh, probably. That, that doesn't make you uncomfortable. 
No, of course not. I don't care what other people think of me. Especially someone who doesn't even exist yet. Hmm. Hydra right now. Thank you. Uh, stretch. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. Actually flexing in real life. Huh. Okay. Better. Thank you for the redeems. All right, here. Natsuki's voice is definitely the hardest to do, because I'm kind of like breaking my voice over doing it. Natsuki raises her hand to the f to her face and forcefully slaps her own cheek. That's me from the future coming to terms with me right now. Also, ow, I didn't mean to do it so hard. Yuri doesn't seem to react, but then, to Natsuki's surprise, Yuri slightly looks the other way before lifting her arm and doing the same thing to herself, loudly smacking her cheek. She turns red and stares into her lap, but is unable to hide a smile. So it was a really funny joke. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I didn't know you had that in you. <laughs> I... I don't. don't even know why I did that. Maybe I thought it would be funny. Sorry to, I keep distracting you. You said you were looking forward to reading, but I keep going on about all this nonsense. I'll let you get to your reading. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll do that then. The conversation ends quickly and Natsuki opens up the book. Okay. The two read silently for the remainder of the lunch hour. They have an hour for lunch? What? Like, when I was still in uh, in middle school, I believe... Wait, no, this is high school they have. Huh, I guess, I don't know. Like, I have, I have... I have switching hours, so I don't know. But like, in middle school we only had 30 minutes for, for lunch. And like twenty minutes for another break if you have a if you had a long day. So, man, I guess they have an hour there in total or something. I don't know. Um, but the whole time Yuri feels distracted by a twist of regret over having to abs so absurdly, uh, abruptly force the end of the conversation. Oh, it's okay, Yuri. You get there. You're back. Oh, yeah, I I'm here to lay low again. Another day has passed. During lunchtime, Natsuki finds herself wandering through the stairway once more. Hey, did you buy that? Natsuki noticed a bottle of iced uh, tea on the stairway where she normally sits. Uh, Yuri nods, avoiding eye contact. 30 minutes? Yeah, we had 30 minutes for lunch. I mean, I don't know. That was plenty for me. So, but yeah, it's like... It, it would be nice to have, have a little bit more. <laughs> uh... Yuri notes, avoiding eye contact. What? Like, for me? But you didn't know I was coming here today. What if I didn't show up? Well, I... I would just have to drink it myself, I guess. It's a stupid thing to do. No, it wasn't stupid. I just don't. Never mind. What I meant to say is thank you. And that's a really nice gesture. I... It's, it's okay if you don't feel that way. I do. It was the other thing that I didn't mean. I swear, please believe me. Mm. Yuri pauses the not talking his heart. I just I get it wrong uh, wrong a lot too, so I believe you. Natsuki exhales in relief. She then sits down next to Yuri and takes a drink. Knowing Yuri, she was probably overthinking it so much that uh, Natsuki tepid response filled her with self down. This is so like this is not relatable for me at all, but like this is like two introverts talking to each other, right? Which introverts don't really talk to each other in real life. Or well, maybe they do, but like, these are, like, two different types of people as well. So, like, this would normally never happen in real life, because people can't be bothered. <laughs> this is so funny to see here, because, like, I feel like this is actually how it would be if some someone tried. Because it's just, it's just silence and awkwardness, because no one knows what to do. Um, I'll, I'll do something nice for you next time. Please, don't feel obligated. I want to. I want to do nice things too. Okay. Thank you. You can you can take me after and figure out how to do something nice. I'll I'll do it then. The sticky size. Hmm. Nothing. It just reminds me of how I haven't been able to get along with my friends lately. Is is that why you've been coming here? Well, no, not exactly. I haven't been avoiding them on purpose or anything. They're just other things I'd rather be doing during lunch lately. Like being around them when they're all like. Just having fun. 
but they also just can't take anyone seriously. So when I'm, I don't know, feeling serious, and then their attitudes just really get on my nerves. It's only gotten worse ever since I joined the literature club. I tried forcing this game once, but uh, but then I did a high-pitched Natsuki voice. Now I stopped. I'm, yeah, I'm doing voices, but man, it, it does hurt after a while, I must say. Especially Natsuki, like, there's been a lot of Natsuki today, and it is starting to break my voice a little, so I should should be careful a little, but, eh. I'll see. At least yours is easy. How come? I don't know. I feel like it used to be really good, but just putting up with it, because it would be so stupid to cast Rama over a token and like or something. But I just have a hard time doing that lately. That's my fault for being overly sensitive. As if I have a problem, I'm not gonna demand for everyone around me to change. But I know. When I can see you, I don't really agree with that kind of thing. But they're not in my position, so it's easy for them to say what you should just communicate your feelings or whatever. It's not like my friend group does that kind of thing. I would just be making an embarrassment of myself. Sorry, none of this has anything to do with you, so I don't know why I'm talking about it. It's okay. I like listening. What, listening to other people's problems? Yes. Haha, <laughs> that's weird. Hmm. Sorry. I I just I just like learning about people. Do you think it's weird? No, no, that's not weird. I just I probably just went out dude, so. Definitely oversensitive Natsuki, yes. I I don't know, does it does it mean I should keep going? If you'd like. Okay. Well, I don't know what to talk about now. What are some of the things that you like about your friends? A lot of things. I mean, they're really fun to hang out with after school and on the weekends. And they really like my baking. And it's fun to complain about school together. And they make me laugh a lot, and we have a lot of good memories and inside jokes. Oh, I'm, I'm bad at a lot of those things. So, are, are all of those things that are important to you? Well, kind of, but they're not things I need to get out of everybody. Everyone in the club is really different from that, so I'm, but I'm still friends with them too. Wow, Sorry really likes your baking, and she makes you laugh, and she complains a lot. That doesn't mean she she's anything like my any my other friends. Well, like them. She's a nice person who cares about your feelings. Excuse me? What you don't talk to, uh, that way about my friends you don't know anything about. That's like he stands up. No, way. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't want to say something bad. Please don't leave. Hmm. Natsuki sighs and shakes her head. It's fine. As long as you understand that you can't just judge people like that. I'm sorry. Suki sits back down. You can't just compare friends like that and like measure who's better than who. Everyone's different. I'm sorry. I just... Hmm. I just don't like people who want to hurt you. Hmm. The moment of silence stretches between them. They don't want to hurt me. We just like to tease each other about stupid stuff. So it's fun. It's fun. I... I don't like that. My... My... That's why I'm friends with them and you're not. You... You like it? Hmm. Just don't worry so much about me. It's not worth it. I'm... I'm sorry. Just wish... I know how to help with social conflicts. Like how Monica can. She's good at these kinds of things. Not really. Also... I, I don't I don't want anyone I don't always want help. Sometimes it's just stuff I have to deal with myself. That's what Monica and Siri never seem to understand. Sometimes all you have all you do is look at them wrong and they're like, oh, what's wrong? Is everything okay? Just wanna mind my own business sometimes and decide myself if I want to talk about things. The only one who understands that is you. So you really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. You're not as bad as you think. Oh you don't need to reassure me or anything. I mean that. Plus, it means that if someone doesn't, who doesn't, doesn't talk a lot makes a good listener. Oh, thank you. You're also nice. Hmm. It's really hard for me. It doesn't come naturally at all. It's so weird because I always thought of myself as someone who can just say whatever is on my mind. But I feel like that only works when I'm uh, annoyed or upset or I want to say something mean. Why am I like that? You don't have to answer them, I'm just talking to myself. Yuri nods and remains silent. Masuki noticed her fidgeting with the pages of her book. How come you like reading so much? Oh, um, well, a lot of reasons. But I just get sucked into it so easily. It's so immersive, like I want to be a part of it. I think there's a lot of things about people in real life that make me feel uncomfortable and frustrated. 
especially when it comes to following social conventions and group interactions. I just don't really understand and have no real desire to participate. Uh, I'm getting weird vibes unlike the previous interaction. <laughs> Uh, Alright Vibia, I got work. Uh, I had fun watching. Have a great rest of your stream. Hope to catch more of your streams. Have a good one. Bye bye. Oh, bye chat. Thank you Akitil for coming. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, I love having you here. Uh, tomorrow's my karaoke stream, which will not be saved by the way. I'm deleting it right after the stream ends. So, if you want to see some of that, then be sure to tune in. <laughs> but yes, have a, have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Uh, I just don't understand it, and I have no real desire to participate. Uh, but it's different with books. I feel like I always want to be around the characters. I feel so strong uh, emotional connection with them in ways that I've never felt with real people. Uh, <laughs> I'll be catching that, you bet, bye. <laughs> I feel... Uh, so, in, a way, in that way, it can sometimes feel more real than real life. Uh, really? It's so hard for you to be around people, like, all the time. My, fairly often. Especially in group settings. When people are making all kinds of conversation and saying jokes and, and all of that. I don't know what to do. I just disengage. Oh. That, that doesn't get lonely. I, I don't think so. I still enjoy spending time with people one on one. And I have online friends too, of course. Do you ever, ever wish that you could be friends with the characters in your books? Uh, all the time. Sometimes so badly that it makes my heart ache. Yeah, me too. Really? Mm-hmm. A lot. Like, more than anything. After Tatsuki mutters that, silence fills the stairway once more. And it's a mutual silence. One full of understanding. Oh, thank you for shouting out my Discord bot. <laughs> oh, more? What is this? Well, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, self love part two, right? Did did I did I do a part two yet? I don't think I did, right? Let me let me check. Begin the side story. Yes. Oh, hey. Oh, hello. I almost thought you weren't coming today. Well, yeah. I just already more than halfway over. Natsuki had typically been uh, meeting Yuri in the stairway much earlier, since it had been a good way of dodging her friends, which she really didn't feel like seeing them. Today she's holding a large plastic container in both hands. I ran into my friends, so I hung out with them for a while. Is that so? Yeah. I was in a good mood today, so I figured I should. I haven't seen them in a while, which I had to come up with an excuse for that, but I expected that. Plus, I, I have way more of these than I know what to do with, so I figured I would share with them too. Uh, uh, as she sits down, Natsuki opens a lid of her container. You made cupcakes. You know it. It's been a while at this point, so I figured it was about time again. You can take one if you want. Here takes a cupcake and carefully uh, twirls it between her fingers. It's brown with dark green frosting, immaculated shapes into floral patterns and topped with some kind of glittery powder. How pretty. I just ate, so I may, may not be able to finish it. Are they for the club? Yeah, I guess. I didn't really think about it. I just made them. Uh, I just thought that uh, because green is Monica's favorite color, right? Well, yeah, but that's not really... It really takes a small bite. This is green tea flavored. Mm, I love green tea. Do, do, do you? <laughs> it was just a random idea I wanted to try, so... Uh-huh. Don't laugh at me. I, I'm not. I just felt happy. Oh, sorry. Usually when... Never mind. What I mean is I'm glad. I'm sorry for saying dumb stuff again. I just want to do something nice. And this is something I happen to be good at. Also, I do know that you like them from past experience. <laughs> Yuri turns red, recalling the time she treated herself rather generously to Natsuki's cupcakes. Oh man. Like, I would love to have like a club and then... Have a baker in that club? Like, can you imagine getting, like, someone to bring pastry, like, every now and then at school? Like, fuck yes. That would be amazing. Anyway. 
Ironically, her mouth is too full of cupcake for her to stammer an excuse, so she just settles for a disapproving look. How? Huh? Let you get into baking. Well, I, I don't know, I just kinda... just always appealed to me. I... well, I, a few years ago, I read this one manga with a lot of baking, and I could like... Got like super sick into it for a while, which probably just making stuff almost every day. That would be so expensive, but um, the club would be so sick. Well, like the, <laughs> we didn't even say like what topic the club would be. It's just like a club with a baker in it, <laughs> like any club with a baker in it would be amazing. But then it would have to be a small club, right? Cause we get imagine if there was a pastry dude from the for the club specifically. Like oh my god. Can you imagine, like, man, they do they do have that in, like, Japan, but, like, a baking club. They do have that, and that would be, oh, God. They even get, like, uh, they even get, like, ovens to use and stuff, because they, they get cooking in school there, too, sometimes. Like, and they get, they get to use those, those ovens. Man, that would be such a delicious club to have. Anyway, I'm getting too hungry, so I'm, I'm just gonna continue. <laughs> But it's something I always knew I liked anyway. It's like, baking is like art, but when you get good at it, it just gets more delicious too. I'm struggling to imagine myself putting my heart into something so artistic, and that it would just be eaten afterwards. <laughs> now you made me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're too practical for it. I, I think... I think... <laughs> I prefer to be on the receiving end. Same, Yuri, same. I will, I will love some cupcakes. And... That's my other favorite part about it. It's something I can do that makes a lot of people happy, like, unconditionally. Uh, everyone's always so thankful, and in that moment you get to be the bringer of joy. I don't know, it just makes me feel... Valiant? Yeah, I guess that. So you were able to make, make up with your friends today? Mm, there wasn't really anything to make up with them about. We weren't fighting or anything. You weren't? Maybe I misunderstood. It only turns into a fight if I lose my cool, and that's just unnecessary drama. It only makes things worse. So, they're not going to stop? I mean, it only happens sometimes anyway. I just, it's just the way they are. I'm the only one who has a, ever has this problem with it. It's, it's not worth it. Especially since I have somewhere to go now when I don't feel like hanging out with them. Oh, I see. The cupcake's empty foil wrapper audibly crinkles... Uh, as Yuri clen uh, clenches a fist, I'm glad that the situation is resolved. That you don't have to avoid them sometimes. Yeah, me too. Uh, and I don't have to bother you during your alone time anymore. I'm sure you have a lot of reading to catch up to. Yeah. I know that, that cupcakes are basically nothing compared to all the stuff you've done for me. But it's the best I can do. So you can have the rest of them. As Yuri grabs the box and slides it over to Yuri's feet. Oh, so many cupcakes. Gimme. Yuri stares at the box. Then she shakes her head and slides them back. You should save them for your other friends. But I made them for you. Mitsuki's voice whines as she protests. I know. And I liked them very much. Exactly as she thought. You succeeded. But I know you cared about uh, making your other friends happy too. If this were the way and you know how to make them happy, then I'm not going to take it from you. No, they were making they were for making you happy. You make me happy. You're worth more than cupcakes to, you're worth more than cupcakes to some people. That's why they they want to spend time with you and be your friend. Without warning, tears pour from the Tsuki's eyes. She pulls to her knees to her chest and starts sobbing into her arms. N not Tsuki. I'm such a bad person. Uh Yuri Yuri stammers, feels panic. I didn't mean to say something bad. Asuki shakes her head and wipes her tears. You didn't. I just... Asuki tries to choke back her sobs, but struggles to speak through them. I just hate myself sometimes, and it feels so wrong when you say those nice things to me. Like I don't deserve it. I'm, I'm sorry. No, I am. I'm so difficult, and I can't... can think of every single thing about myself that, I, that somebody would like. Uh, and I hate myself for bothering you during lunch. I thought... That it was my chance to be a good person, like to be nice and do the things you wrote in that letter. If I knew if I tried in the club, so you and Monica would be super annoying and make a huge deal out of it. You know, I think a lot about these negative things too about myself. But I never felt like a good person. I always scrutinize everything I say and later feel like 
I said all the wrong things. And I just spent so much time thinking about myself, hating myself, and feeling like everyone, everyone else must hate me too. So I understand some of, which, uh, of that through my own experience. That's why I wanted to write a letter and express my feelings. It paid me to see those things in someone else that I saw in myself. <laughs> Zoe sniff sniffles. Yuri rustles through her bag and pulls out some tissues, then hands them to Natsuki. Monica told me that it takes a good person to reflect on these things. The desire to improve yourself, that makes you a good person, so don't worry so much. Also, there are things about you that people would like, so... Like what? Mm. Like, how you're fun for people to be around, and you're not shy. You know how to make people laugh, and you're very passionate about things, and you know how to take the lead, and you care a lot about other people, and just a lot of things. Oh. Well... Now you're making me feel really embarrassed. Huh? You're the one who asked. And don't you think I feel embarrassed? Suki tries to hide a smile, then she sighed and fades again. Every time I come here, I always think it's the last time, but then I keep coming back for some reason. Is is that bad? Mm, just really confusing. I mean, my friends and I go way back, so ditching them all the time feels like, I don't know. Feels like what? Suki's voice gets quiet. Maybe I'm scared that they'll get mad at me. I really don't know what to do. He pauses. Yuri stares into the distance, tracing her eyes along the path of the floor tiles while she thinks to herself. What would you do, hypothetically, if your friends were happy for you instead of mad at you? Happy for what? Happy that your new club is making you happy? Well, that's just not a fair hypothetical. I always told myself that I don't rely on the approval of others to be happy, and I still feel that way, but I'm spending time with people who put me down whenever I don't have their approval. That's probably what's making me feel so confused, because I'm threatened out of the things that should make me happy. So no matter what, it's like I have to be unhappy to be happy. It's making my head hurt. Then, that must make it really difficult to be to feel comfortable with yourself. Being made to feel like you're wrong just for being the person you are. It really goes against everything I believe, doesn't it? It goes against the kind of person I want to be. I'm fed up with it. I'm fed up with a lot of things. Suki presses her palms into her forehead and shakes her head. I know what's best for me, but I keep convincing myself out of it. It's so much easier to be comfortable and happy than it is to do something so scary. To do what? You know, to end it with them. Suki nods. I didn't think you would. You were actively considering that as an option. I wasn't until recently. It's just one of those things where, like, it's been a certain way for a long, so long that you just get used to it. Like, so much of you has gone into it, so much that it feels like that's just how your life is. And throwing it away is like throwing away a big, such a big part of your life. It makes me feel sick about it. This is kind of tragic. Yes, it really is. Nasuki sighs. It's just really scaring and terrifying. I, I get this though, like, I, I've said goodbye to some friends. Because they really changed through pu puberty and like... They became real assholes, honestly. So, just gotta, just gotta do what makes you happy, man. In the end, honesty will get you everywhere. What are you scared of? I don't know. A lot of things, like being alone, not having anyone to talk to or hang out, not able to replace what I had with them. And I don't want them to hate me. And I'm really scared that they'll hunt me for going against them, physically, not physically, but. Yuri clenches her fist. Natsuki. What? If anyone ever causes, uh, thinks to cause you harm. Oh. I will unleash hell upon them. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. But we do, we do know she has a lot of knives, so. Natsuki snorts in laughter. Don't laugh at me. Uh, sorry, I was just... I like that. That's all. Uh -huh. Well, I meant it. I know you did. Asuki gives Yuri an endearing look. I needed it. Mm. As the conversation lapses, Natsuki again slides her box of cupcakes over to Yuri. Just take them, okay? I don't want don't want other people to have them anymore. Are you sure? Natsuki nods. I'm sure. I will then. I'll enjoy them. <laughs> I want some I want some green tea cupcakes, god damn it. Natsuki looks away, but a feeling of warmth spread through her. She holds on to that feeling, knowing it will give her courage. 
Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh, you're here first today. Mm-hmm. And you brought reading material. Mm-hmm. Masuki's sitting in a usual spot, this time holding a volume of manga while sitting. While her lunch sits beside her. Yuri sits down as well and opens her book. It sucks when a good series has to come to an end. Like it's such a big part of your life. And then one day, just there's just nothing left. Oh, reminds me of that green tea meme. Oh, you mean green tea? Kofia! <laughs> that one? <laughs> it makes me feel so empty. Unfortunately, I'm about to experience it myself. I'm on the last book of this series. That sucks. But there's also something satisfying about letting a story conclude. I don't know if I'd want it to go on forever. Yeah, Netflix. How about you just let series end for once? I mean, what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Maybe. But there are some things that I would, I would, I would wish I could. On the other hand, have you ever read something that overstated its welcome? Yeah, definitely. I can think of at least one thing that I've read that got pretty unbearable like halfway through and that ending really sucked. Okay, One Piece. Naruto. I mean, what? <laughs> so, it sucks when something good has to end, but it also sucks when they just keep inventing more plot until you don't like it anymore. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z. Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, what? <laughs> so, it sucks when... Uh, I guess it sucks either way. Mm-hmm. Well... It's the nature of all things. They come to an end. <laughs> Two fall silent. And they slowly eat while making their way through their respective reading material. Except Natsuki doesn't seem to be touching her food at all. You don't go out during the weekends, right? Excuse me. Like with friends at the mall or downtown or whatever? I'm not a total shut-in, you know. Oh, my bad for making assumptions. Well, I'm sure I go out at least... Uh... Uh, less often than other people like you and the others in the club. I don't really meet uh, with friends or arbitrarily spend time like that. I'm just meeting with my board game group. Man, Yuri is so much like me. What the fuck? See, this is why Yuri is best girl. She plays board games too. Like, fuck yeah, I do too. I love them. Anyway, board game group, it, it doesn't matter. I'm just, it's just some more nerdy stuff. What do you ask anyway? I'm just curious. I just realized that I couldn't picture it. I was just so curious. Yuri looks at Natsuki and realizes that she's shaking. Don't look at me like that. S sorry. Natsuki pulls her knees to her chest and puts her head down. I can't take this. Did, did I do something? Yuri gets flustered. Her mind... Oh. Fuck. Her mind racing over what she may have said or done. I did. I ended it. I texted them earlier, telling them. And then I just blocked them, because I was so afraid of their responses. And now it feels like I'm dying inside. Oh. That's... I'm sorry. Totally unsure of what to do, Yuri can barely find any words to, uh, of support to offer. Meanwhile, the sound of Natsuki's un uh, unusually hard breathing fills the air. She speaks again, barely above a whisper. Help me. I feel sick and I want to hit my head against things. Please help me, I can't take this. You may be having a panic attack. With that realization, Yuri's demeanor suddenly changes. I have experience with this, so I'll help you through it, okay? Natsuki meekly, uh, meekly nods through her rapid breathe, head still buried in her knees. Yuri slides herself over to Natsuki, sits on the step behind her, and she put her hands over Natsuki's shoulders. Can you feel my hands? Natsuki nods. Uh, her shaking becomes much more apparent through your sense of touch. Your keeps her voice low and gentle. You're safe now. You're in good hands in a safe place where nothing can hurt you. Natsuki nods once more. Although Yuri is only touching Natsuki's shoulder, she can practically feel her racing pulse through the base of her neck. I'll do a breathing exercise together. All you have to do is listen to my breathes and breathe along with me. Let's breathe now. Yuri takes a, a, a deep, low breath. Beneath her hands, she feels Natsuki's shoulders rise. Natsuki's takes a breath of her own, trying to mimic Yuri. They exhale together, although Natsuki's breath shakes on her way out. That's good. Let's keep going. Uh, Yuri breathes in once more. Natsuki joins her. They continue like that for a few more cycles while Yuri, Yuri closely monitors. Eventually, Yuri feels uh, Natsuki rest more of her weight onto Yuri's palms. 
Let's focus on the physical world. All I have to do is focus on the feeling uh, of your briefs going in and out. And the way of my hands on your shoulders. You're in a safe and uh, comfortable physical space. Oh. Minutes pass in silence. But now, the worst of it has passed. But Yuri is determined not to move away until Nazuki prompts her to. And when Nazuki has lifted her head off her knees and her breathing has become more steady. Then she takes a final deep breath and slowly pulls herself to her feet, causing Yuri to let go. She stretches her arms. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to freak out. I don't know what my deal is. You don't have to apologize. This must be enormously stressful for you. Is that going to keep happening? It, it may, or it may not. We can take measures to prevent it helping in the future, but I think it will naturally get better over time. Natsuki motions to sit back down and so Yuri moves over. Yuri turns away to pick up her own book from the dusty floor, which she has hastily set down earlier. She brushes off the dust of the cover. I don't think I couldn't. I could have gotten through that alone. You're not alone. Willing shy again, Yuri speaks into her own lap. From now on, you don't have to do anything alone. After she says that, Yuri tenses up. It's really for her to so openly share her thoughts. But something about Natsuki of all people that makes it feel so much more natural to do so. Perhaps because, like Yuri, Natsuki is so timid and uncertain of herself. Natsuki does such a good job at hiding that it's taken a long time for Yuri to finally realize it. And that's be that because of that, Yuri is able to deliver the reinsurers that she herself would have wanted. Demonstrating that you deserve the love of others. If you can accept that for the first time, then perhaps you can begin the... Uh, what the fuck is this word? Tumultuous f journey of learning to love yourself. Aww. Look at this. Do you really mean that? You're probably gonna regret saying that if you do. How so? Because... I'm probably gonna have a lot of free time during the weekends from now on. So if you're giving me permission to be as knowing as I want to drag you around a lot of places. I see. But you already said it, so you can take it back now. Uh, I suppose I have no choice but accept the responsibility then. Mm-hmm. How cute. I know a good ice cream place. Oh. I mean, you'll finally... Oh, you'll finally figure out my favorite ice cream flavor. Hmm? What are you talking about? Oh, you don't remember? Oh, you don't remember? The first day you came to the club, you guessed everyone's favorite ice cream flavor, but for me, you said you had no idea. Seriously? I don't remember that at all. Oh wait, yes I do. I, s I said it was probably green tea. Yuri shakes her head. It's a good guess, but my favorite is... Uh, it's usually to get chocolate and raspberry together. Chocolate and raspberry? How fancy. How is that fancy? Uh, I don't know. I feel like I should have guessed something like that. Well, maybe next time I'll try... Chocolate and strawberry. Hey, strawberry is my favorite. Hmm. What a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, I could have guessed that one. I think it helps to have something to look forward to. I still have the sick feeling in my stomach. But it's easier now to convince myself that I did the right thing. Is there anything better I could be doing? Not that I know of. There's nothing that will make this easy for me. And you already did more than I thought anyone could. Mm -hmm. Come to think of it, we never talked about the letter you wrote. But I feel like... We're way past it at this point. I don't even know. I don't even know what to talk about. Except uh, I think it helped me understand my needs a little bit better. The way I like to treat, be treated, and the kind of friends that I want to have. That's why I wanted to start coming here in the first place. Even though I was so scared of causing more problems. I thought, I thought it was a coincidence that you ran into me here initially. Oh, uh, well, not exactly. What do you mean? Nothing. I may have tracked you down first, with the help of Sayori. That's... But you said... I was shy, okay? I wasn't ready to, like... Whatever, you know what I'm saying. Well, I guess I'm glad you worked up that courage. Even if it wasn't your own way, I could tell that you've been making a lot of difficult decisions. It's brave, and it will make things better in the long run. I think anyone would have to be proud of you for it. Anyone? You mean, like you? Yes, like me. You know, I could get used to this. As long as, long as you don't tease me too much. Oh, fine. 
Just a little bit. That's fine. I know how certain, uh, uncertain everything feels to you right now. But I really do think that good things are in store. Those are my honest feelings. Thanks. It feels nice to be reassured. The two girls continue their conversation through the remainder of lunch. But now a new feeling hangs in the air, a feeling of greater certainty in a path forward. In just a few hours there will be another literature meeting, uh, where four club members will happily spend time together. Each of them, all with their own special qualities, have something unique that they can deliver to one another. Through friendship and literature, the club members will continue to grow and find new happiness together. The end of each chapter is the start to the next. Yuri thinks that to herself. Since she's about to finish her long-running series, it would be best to have a new book lined up. Perhaps this weekend would be a good time to visit the bookstore. Together. That was amazing. That was my favorite one yet. That was so good. That was so good. Wow, I really liked that one. <laughs> um... Let's see. Do I have time for another one? So let me check this. Oh, we got them all. We got all of the normal ones. We just need three more poems. Um, here we got two more of these. Three more of the, and yeah, we have this one now. We're almost done. We almost got everything. But there's, there's quite a lot of stuff to get in one more story. I mean, look at this, right? You see this? Equals. This is, the, this is the secret story that you unlock by playing every single other one. So, let's play it. This is the last story. There's only one part of this. I wonder what this is going to do. This is going to be heavy on the voice, so I'm going to take a sip by precaution. <sighs> okay. Okay, everyone. We're gonna be taking a break from the usual activities today. I was thinking, oh my god, why is that so loud? Let me turn it down for myself. There we go. I was thinking, since people are starting to talk about the festival, it's a good time for us to go over the general direction of the club and all. Maybe it'll help us figure out what to do for the festival, you know? Oh, so Yuri and I already came up with a really good plan. Really? Really? For the festival? Yeah, it's the plan is this, okay? You and Yuri collect for information ahead of time on which clubs or classes are doing food, food booths. Then we take a map and plan the most efficient route so we can get most of them before the lines get too long. Hey, that has nothing to do with the club. Well, you have to let me finish. <laughs> she just wants food, okay. Uh, Alright, fine, go ahead. Right, so we basically get all the food we can and then we come back here and all eat together. That's all. Wow. I got tricked twice by the same joke. Boo, don't be a hater. It's not like you can come up with anything uh, with anything better. Look, even Yuri was thinking about it. And no, I wasn't. I would really prefer to do something literature related. We can eat together anytime. The festival is a unique opportunity. Besides, it's been quite a while since we, we've seen any new interest in the club. Yeah, I was, I was thinking the same thing. We could really get a shot of showing people what the literature club is all about. I'll tell you what, we can do both, right? We'll make time for your food mission and still put uh, together a public event. Oh my gosh, yes! I was just joking, but that's a really good idea. Huh? Well, I'm glad that's settled. Uh, I think the question is now how to come up with an event that demonstrates everything you can get out of the literature club. Well, that's kind of tough because everyone gets something different out of the club. Okay, how about this? Let's go around and have each, uh, each of us talk about what we've gotten out of the club so far. It could really help us figure out what kind of reputation we want to build. Yeah, that's, that's too embarrassing. But you'd have to, so much to talk about. That's, that's exactly why. I'm sure Natsuki feels the same way. Well, maybe. But I didn't plan on arguing against it or anything. I mean, it's a literature club. We can, we can talk about that stuff together, right? And the only way to get more comfortable with it is to suck it up and just do it. Oh, I am, you're not wrong. I'm sorry for being so hesitant. It's, it's not good to say suck it up because it sounds like your feeling don't matter. Right, my bad. It's just a habit I need to break. 
Well, anyway, who's gonna start? I'll start. <laughs> of course. I was the first to join after all. Uh huh. Wouldn't that be me? No, I want to go first. <laughs> fine, fine. You can start. Don't. I don't mind. Yay! So. Oh, so this is this is each of them gonna like say nice things about the club, I guess. Um, gosh, it feels so like so long ago. I like. I think I joined because I wanted to have fun sharing poems with people. It seems like it would be a safe way to express myself, you know? Like, if it's just a poem, then I could share it without feeling like I'm burdening everyone with my problems. And I thought it would be a really good way to get uh, to know other people too. So yeah, I was really surprised when I walked in and just it was just Monica. And she was sleeping. <laughs> Don't remember me of that. Gosh. But yeah, it seemed like so much fun uh, starting uh, help start a club. Especially since writing helped me so much, I wanted to see if it helped other people too. But it ended up being who I was, who was inspired, because I remember feeling like Monica was just so sweet and mature, so I could trust her with anything. It made me feel like a lot, a lot less alone, having someone who could, uh, who even knew the bad things. Oh, how oh, dare you bonk me? So I didn't hear it. What? I didn't hear the bonk. I didn't it bonk? Huh. I don't know why it didn't bonk. But... Well, I guess I'll do this. <laughs> Fuck you! There you go. <laughs> And to that point, I knew the Literature Club was going to be special for a lot of people. Yeah, I felt the same way. It really helped me give the club more cohesive, cohesive vision. And yeah, and then Yuri joined, and she was so different from us, and Natsuki too. I think for Yuri, it really helped for me to take the lead before she was able to open up a little. Natsuki was kind of the opposite, where she wasn't ready to get really close to someone really quickly. I never really thought about that sort of stuff. I really feel like I've gotten better at understanding people's different needs. Uh, and that makes me really happy because my friends are just the most important thing to me. And whenever new members begin, I want to help uh, them in those ways too. I I don't know what I would uh, have continued coming to this club if it weren't for you. Really? Mm-hmm. I know it wasn't too long ago, but it hurts to think about my behavior back then. It was really short-sighted. The only reason I came to find others who were into fantasy, so I suppose that was my idea of making friends with people. I remember feeling uncomfortable because you and I had such different energy. I had such a specific idea of the kind of person I could be friends with, so... And so you were trying so hard to get to know me, I felt like I was just wasting your time. I think I was naive to assume that similar interests were the key component of friendship. So you and I were able to be friends because she always thinks about the needs of other people. That's something I never know how to do. Or even thought to do. But I stayed in the club thanks to that. And I started trying as hard as I could to understand people better. You really went above and beyond when it came to that. I was just super impressed. Well, I always hated that I didn't know how to behave like a person who was easily liked by others, like the two of you can. And because of that, I spent so much time thinking about my own behavior and all the wrong things I did. But the whole time I should have been thinking about other people instead, not myself. Once I started doing that, I was able to make friends with everyone else. And also, I discovered that sometimes I'm a better communicator when I take the time to write rather than speak. It's so strange that uh, the way things turn out. It's so far different from anything I ever would have expected. But I'm happy. I would. I suppose we don't always know what we really need. Oh my gosh! You're so cute. I'm going to try. <laughs> Please don't do that, Sayuri. Besides, I'm not cute. Hey, is it my line? Oh. Uh, uh, well, for me, it's it's actually true. So, what are you saying? Nothing. <laughs> I've finished my part, so somebody else can take their turn. My heart. <laughs> Sorry, right, take some deep breaths. Okay, fine, I'll go. Yo, I can't believe you were complaining about this and still went for uh, before me. What a show up! I just was just following up on Sayori. It was the easiest way to get in to get it over with. Besides, you left out the most important thing uh, that you got out of this club. I did. Yeah, a regular supply of your favorite cupcakes. Oh no, I forgot that too. <laughs> I'm a traitor to the Cupcake Queen. Neither of you are forgiven. I mean, neither of you are forgiven. 
<laughs> Looks like only Monica will be getting cupcakes next time. No, <laughs> I can't eat that many cupcakes. Oh yeah, true. Only Yuri can. Hey. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm just putting off talking. It's kind of hard to talk about this stuff, but I guess when it comes down to it, I'm much better placed mentally than I was when I first joined. That's because everyone helped me realize that I had some really toxic friendships going on at the outside the club. It was honestly a really painful thing to go through, having to cut them out. It still hurts to think about it. I'm sorry, Natsuki. It's fine. I knew it was for the better, and I was right. I guess for me, it's all about feeling. When I was just ever ridiculed for having feelings, so I thought the right thing to do was just ignore them. It took me a long while realize, to realize that it's not really how things are supposed to work. And I guess that, thanks to everyone who took the time to respect my feelings, even if I was being like the biggest jerk. And I'm really sorry for being such a jerk to everyone. I was really the worst. Natsuki's voice chokes a little. We love you, Natsuki. Just hate that I was like that. Everyone did so much for me and I could never do anything in return. That's not true. That's the key. You've done a lot more than you think. The club would really wouldn't have been the same without you, I mean that. Mm. Remember how judgmental I was when I first showed up? It was like I couldn't accept anything other than my own ideal, what the literature club was supposed to be. Apparently that was more important to me than the opportunity to bring you some happiness. It really taught me that anything can make someone happy uh, that's worth your respect. You even inspired me to start playing piano with some, something that means a whole lot to me. So there's no need to put yourself down. Oh, okay. Natsuki wipes her eyes. You helped me a lot too. It's so much fun to have you around. And you helped me become a better person. Having a problem doesn't mean you need, you need it or inconvenient. It means that there's something that you need to be... Uh, needs to be better for you. And you always deserve that. I agree. Seeing us have some of the same struggles made me a better person as well. I wouldn't want to change anything about our time here. I don't think anyone else ever would. I'm sorry I got all dramatic again. That's all I wanted to say, so Monica can go now. There's no need to apologize. It was me. Uh, it was something I wanted to talk about anyway, but because it made a big difference for me. I was always such a strict perfectionist who never took enough time to believe in the best of people. But everyone kept proving me wrong. I made this, this mistake multiple times thinking that my way was the best for everyone. Or thinking that I needed to solve uh, other people's problems. Uh, but I think being a leader means that you have to acknowledge that you're not perfect and that the best thing you can do is uh, guide people rather than to do everything for them. We're all good people. We're all equals. I think that's the most important thing I've gotten out of the club, realizing what that really means. So Yuri, what are you doing? I I thought, just thought that we should be writing some of these things down. Nah. Things about the club that are valuable to us. With a piece of chalk in her hand, she writes the word trust on the chalkboard. This is because she showed me that I could trust you with everything about me, not just my good side. Suddenly, Yuri takes a piece of chalk as well. She writes understanding. Oh, we're going we're going down the list of uh, of the stories we just did. Uh, I, I owe a lot of gratitude to everyone who took the time to understand me, even though it was so difficult for me to express myself. In that case, Monica takes a piece of chalk as well, writes the word respect. Uh, I always thought I was, I was a respectful person, but it took the club for me to realize that there was more to it than I thought. I'm a better person because of it. I have another one. She writes the word balance. Yes. Balance. And now there was, uh, what is this one? Self-love? No, that was the sixth one, isn't it? Um, what is the fifth one again? I think it was a negative word, but... So it's, a, it's important to keep the things balanced between you and the other person. That reminds me. Ah, there it is. Your advice reflection. It's always been, I've always been a reflective person, but most of it has been nothing more than hating myself for all the things I did wrong. Once I started reflecting on other people and not just myself, a lot of things changed for me. So I think that's the most important one for me. That's great, we have a whole list of things now. Suddenly everyone looks at Natsuki. Well, everyone took out a chaw. Don't look at me like that, jeez. You could have just asked. Monica hands her piece of chalk to Natsuki. The Natsuki writes self-love. I don't know how far I've gotten with it yet, but feels like things are at least on the right track. So there, that's my contribution. Uh, together, everyone stares at the words on the board. Wasn't this club to, supposed to be about literature? But, but it is. We still do a lot of literature. Friendship and literature. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Friendship and literature. Asuka, you're gently not as well. 
Hey, let's all take a picture together. We don't have one right yet, right? Oh, you're right. Make sure you send it to me after. Wait, can I brush my hair first or something? Oh, you're fine. You already have the best hair out of all of us. Mm -hmm. Everyone get together. I can fit you all in. Okay, everyone ready? And click. Oh. And this is, isn't this like the, the opening photo for the, for the original game? Like all the girls next to each other? I'm really glad we talked about all this stuff. It's easy to forget how far we've come with only four members. Yeah, I have so many happy thoughts right now. Oh god, happy thoughts. I'm getting some really good inspiration for a poem. You know, I feel the same way. I kind of want to get some writing done. Me too. I, I think I would like that as well. Oh. Everyone's looking at me again. I'll do it too, but I might not feel like sharing it. That's okay. <laughs> Four members of the literature club disperse and return to the desk, each equipping themselves with a pen. Natsuki and Yuri give each other a quick glance and then start writing imme immediately. So Yuri stretches then does the same. But Monica is left, tapping her pen against the paper and short of where to start. Hmm. Just move your hand. Monica mouths to herself. Write the way into your heart. Her mind full of thoughts, memories and inspiration, Monica navigates past her mental barriers and begins to write. Doesn't matter what, just that it's something new. Oh. You hear that music? Oh. I'll turn it up a little bit. This is it? Yay! We did it! Did I, mi did I still miss some things? Maybe. Oh, look at this. Such cute art. Wait, Dan Salvado did the music? Wow, nice. The director of the game also did the music for the game? You don't see that a lot. You gotta give props to this to the people of this game, right? Like, Doki Doki Literature Club was like a revolutionary game. Like, n nothing like that was ever made before. A visual novel with, like, deep horror aspects and uh, and like, depression and stuff in it. I've never seen that before anywhere. And then the lore it brought, and then the now the Doki Doki Plus, which is gets you closer to the to the characters and like widens your perspective of the game. Oh look at look at the blushy blushy. But yeah, like this game is amazing, honestly. I don't not sure how expensive it was again, maybe like six euros. FBI, open up! Oh. You want a bigger one, huh? FBI, open up! <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Thank you, dear player, for enjoying your story of friendship and literature. Of course. I loved it. I loved it. Made with love by Team Silvana. Oh, how sweet. Serenity Fort. Oh, there it is. There's the picture. Ooh, look how pretty Yuri is, honestly. Where they're all cuties, to be honest. Hey, I got an achievement! Friendship and literature! Great way to end it. Yeah, it's amazing. Do we have everything now? We don't, actually. I'm missing poems. We did get these. Wait, there's two pictures? Everyone say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Now everyone make a funny face. Oh. We got we got the duck face. We got Sayori being Sayori, the the puffy cheeks, very fitting, and uh, Yuri Mustachio, which uh, I support that. I support that a lot. <laughs> you know what? I'll set this as a wallpaper. There we go. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, we're also we're still missing three secret poems as well. Hmm. Did I get every single scene from the members? I don't think I did. No, there's still three missing here too. And there, are, oh, here's one. Finish all of the side stories. Here's Monica. Oh, cute. So we're missing one secret art, which I don't know how to get actually. And uh, three of these, which I think three of these are actually also three of these and three of these. So have I skipped a storyline in this game? Now here's here's Sayori. Here here's Yuri and here's Natsuki. I don't think I have. But then which one how would I get the extra ones? Hmm. This is oh this is Natsuki. Damn. That's way different. <laughs> Why well, not way different, but like <laughs> Yeah. Well, I really love that. I really love that. Where's the new... How about this one? Oh, no. Don't want to listen to that one. Um, how about this one? Give me a happy one. Oh, this is the new one. There we go. Alright. Yes, I am going to end it here. Because, you know, we finished it, so... And I do want to save my voice for tomorrow. I'm not sure how long the how long the stream is gonna be, but I might actually do the FNAF 2 from the coffee thon after the karaoke. But we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Okay. So yes, thank you guys very much for coming. Uh, I'll send you to someone else. Let's raid someone. You can get your your free VBI points in that you can use to torture me again. <laughs> and of course you get some free points on their channel as well uh let's see yes of course you're welcome man you're welcome uh let's see who's online right now um does anyone have oh millie millie's actually here she's playing retro nintendo games fuck yeah let's do it let's raid millie Right, Millie for Waffles. That's her name, right? On Twitch. Millie for Waffles, yes. Alright. Here's the messages. Uh there you go. Be sure to copy the message that is for you. If you're a sub, do the sub rate, and if you're not a sub, do the, the normal one. And I will see you guys, well, tomorrow maybe. Or on otherwise Friday. So Thank you guys for coming, and I'll see you guys later. I forgot to put on music. Clock. Don't worry about it. What does a clock do? I don't remember that. Well, it's gone now. <laughs>